Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Artbook Addiction here, and we're here with a new artbook review. So today, we have a very special episode. Uh, we're going to be looking at the art of Haddon Sunbloom, right? Uh, this is a very special book for me. I just got it in the mail, and uh, coincidentally, it happens to be the 100th episode of Artbook Addiction, or a uh, 100th video, right, rather. And uh, to... No better time to commemorate it by uh, having this art book right here. So, this book, um, if you didn't know, is extremely rare, right? Um, this is from the Illustrated Press. You know, if you guys know about their books, if you saw my Dean Cornwell review, you'll know that they're only uh, they only print one thousand of uh, these books, right? Per book, right? Um, and this book, I've been looking at, I've been looking for it for about like two years now, right? And it's just been, I can't find anything on the book. Um, there's very little listings. There was a there was a listing on Stuart NG for a $250 version, right, of this book. And I was like, I couldn't afford it, so I, it just, it was basically impossible to find, right? But um, I found this book. I, uh, I, I found the Illustrated Press um, and I found the creator and I emailed him and I asked him, hey, uh, I've been looking for this book. Do you guys maybe have like a copy uh, that you might be able to sell me? And coincidentally, he had one copy left, right? Um, and I think it's because uh, they had this little scuff right here. So uh, I I'm guessing that they couldn't ship it because like, you know, the little scuff right there, then it became a, a what do you call it? No longer sellable right but um it was sellable to me right and i guess he just had it lying around and now i i have this book um i'm a huge fan of Han sunbloom right uh if you guys don't know uh him as an artist he is the coca-cola artist uh he's the guy who basically invented the modern image of santa claus right so if you guys you know if you guys look at those old il coca-cola illustrations with santa claus um, that's actually Haddon Sunbloom, right? That's a cool little tidbit, right? Um, but yeah, guys, I am uh, super excited to bring this episode to you guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, before we start the video, please uh, hit that like and hit that subscribe, right? But with all that said, let's uh, let's just jump into this bad boy. All right. So I um, here's Haddon Sunbloom, little picture of him. Um, Cool little fact: He is the uh, he's the model that he uses for Santa Claus as well. So he not only paints Santa Claus and created the modern image of Santa Claus, he literally was the model for Santa Claus. So it's a cool little tidbit for you guys. The art of had some okay, by Daniel Zimmer. Thank you, Daniel Zimmer, for uh, letting me purchase this book. Beautiful. All right, so uh, you know we're not going to read the text, right? Um, I think the text is available in their magazine, you know. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, go ahead and check out uh, IllustratedPress.com or uh, the Illustrated Press and uh, check out their magazines, man. They're totally worth it, and they're very informational. There we go. And yeah, just a little figure study right here. Nothing, nothing too crazy yet. But uh, we're, we're going to get into this. Yeah. 1924. This shit is old, bro. But, oh, look at that. Look at this gorgeous illustration, man. Um, he also taught Gil Elvgren, right? Who is uh, my favorite artist, I think, uh, of this time period. Um, I just love his work, but... Uh, Sunbloom was a teacher of uh, of Gil Elgren, and you could you could definitely see his influence on his work. And oh my goodness, it's just it's just good stuff. Like look at this man. We have <laughs> we have a lot more to come, but suffice to say, uh, Sunbloom knew what he was doing. Here we go. Oh, it's the Quaker Oats guy. Yeah, Betty Crocker. Okay. Yeah, so you can see he did a lot of um, 
advertisement illustration, right? Yeah, look at these. Oh, look at these drawings, man. These are gorgeous. Bro. Look at this. Look at this Coca-Cola uh, girl, dude. Just gorgeous, man. What a beautiful drawing. Man. <clears throat> there he is. Yeah. So, um, you know, they, they have a model right here, but this is just for the photo, right? He usually modeled for the pictures. Yeah. Man. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at look at the dress, man. Look at the way this paint is applied. Look how gorgeous this color is, man. I'm just I just am blown away by his art every fucking time, dude. And um this is this is the only real like collection of his work in an art book form, right? Uh Gil Elvgren. Um he has many books on him because of thanks to Tashin, right? Um, but uh, Han Sunbloom, his teacher, the Coca Cola artist, has uh, very few art books. He has an he has an art book that's like a, a collection of his Santa Claus drawings, but that's about it. Yeah. Damn. So nice. Look at these. Look, look at that color. Look at that pink, dude. It's so rich. Yeah. Mrs. Jones. I don't know who that is. <clears throat> All right. So we got. Here we go. A record, record album jacket. Okay, here we go. We're getting some, some of the uh, Santa Claus paintings right here. But look at that. Look at the, look at the joy, you know, the simplicity, of this. Like, I don't know, man. Like seeing something like this, in contrast to like what we see today, it's just it's just night and day, bro. You know what I mean? Like you see a Santa Claus advertisement today and you're like oh they're just you know it's santa claus it's cool you know what i mean but they're trying to sell me something so it's like it's kind of it doesn't have the heart of a painting man you know when you see a painting like this it makes me like i'm like that's christmas right there like like whole like in in its holistic sense like that's christmas right there you know what i mean and you just, I don't know, I feel this joy that I just don't get out of, like, a picture of Santa. You know, like, some guy who looks like Santa, you know, it's, like, it's real, you know, it's realistic, you know what I mean? But, like, I don't know, man. Like, look at, the, look, look, this is Santa right here, dude. This is Jolly Saint Nick right here, okay? I mean, look at that face, dude. Look at this painting, okay? It just, that shit just hit different, all right? That's all I gotta say about that, dude. Okay. So some these are some more uh, some more advertising illustrations. Yeah, look at this. Oh my god, his color is just fantastic, man. Oh my god, look at that. I I gotta say, dude. You know, I love I love watching I love seeing like you know Dean Cornwell and like you know Harvey Dunn. But I feel like Han Sunbloom, he his colors are just king, bro. You know what I mean? They're just like they're so saturated and yet so like like perfectly in place. So yeah, I definitely um I definitely lean more towards the uh, high saturation team. Yeah, like like Elgrin and uh and, and Sunbloom. Yeah, but look at all these things, man. Like, can you imagine, like, being in, like, fucking 19, in, like, the 1920s, dude, and then you just open up a, or, or 1950s, I don't know, I don't know whatever, whatever time he was prominent, but, uh, can you imagine having these and just opening up a magazine and you see these illustrations, dude, and you're like, you know, dude, like, and they have the, they have the, uh, oh, dude, lo log ca cabin syrup, that's kind of cool, it's, like, in a can that has, like, a little cabin design. I don't know. It just maybe maybe uh maybe I'm just uh idealizing a time but like I think there's a reason why when we look to like the 50s, you know what I mean? 
the imagery of it is just so beautiful that you're like, that must have been like the time. You know what I mean? Like you see those Coca-Cola ads, you see those like 50s cars, man. I, and you're just like, man, life must have been different back then, man. Jesus. Look at this, man. 1924, dude. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I've been watching um, Peaky Blinders, right? Um, so I've been feeling very uh, British, you know, very hackney, right? Um, but um, to think that these paintings were made during that time, you know, like, it must have been a real relief from just seeing, you know, everyday, like, factory bullshit, you know what I mean? And this is when horses were still around, like, as, a, as like, a regular vehicle, you know what I mean? And just, oh my goodness, yeah, there were cars and there were also horses, so... Man, what a time, dude. What a time. Yeah. It may not have been a deal, you know, in, in like, you know, living it, but, like, seeing these these paintings definitely feels like it. You know what I mean? Look at this. So nice. Oh, my goodness. What, what, what was this done in? This looks like it was done in a uh, wash, maybe? Or uh, pastels. Yeah. Look at this craftsmanship, dude. Jesus Christ. Cadillac. Yeah. I'm telling you, dude. Got, uh, adver like, advertising needs to get back on illustrations. Okay? Because, like, these, they just feel so much better. Uh, e even if you made the same exact image, right? Uh, as this painting right here, it would not be as good, okay? Like, people used to really invest in, like, what they're, what they're selling, you know what I mean? And now it's just, uh it's just photos, it's just photos and photos, right? There's no sweetness, there's no, there's no soul to the, to those photos, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, as, like, compared to a painting, comes nowhere near, dude. Look at this. <clears throat> Look how, how nice this illustration is, dude. How simple it is and, like, how it, like, brings you in. You know, it brings you into that environment. Like, you see, like, you're, like, imagine, like, you're the parent, you know, and you see, like, your, your daughter and your son, right? You're at the top of the hill and you see them come up and they see that same view that you saw, you know, when you were young. And they, they feel that same level of amazement. Um, but now you get to see it on their faces. It's, I don't know, man. Different time, dude. <clears throat> Look at this. Yeah. Oh, back when kids used to just read, you know? Oh my goodness. Yeah, now, now this is a tablet, right? I mean, that's not, nothing wrong with that. It's just like, um... If it was painted, I think it would it would hit harder. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look at this, man. Just a mother and her her daughter, right? Her eyes look a little scary to me, but that's okay. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this fucking painting, dude. Wow. Cream of wheat. Okay. Oh, is this, like, his first day of school, you know? And then he's, like, saying goodbye to, to his, like, his mom right now? Look at that, dude. Tell me that wouldn't sell something, man. Tell me, like, you know, if you're a mom and you saw this illustration and they were selling a product, you'd be like, you know what, dude? I want to buy uh, cream of wheat, dude. You know? Because they get it, dude. They understand uh, what it's like to feel that. You know what I mean? Look at that. So, so nice, man. Oh my goodness. Look at look, look, look at this little kid, dude, right? He's he's looking at this this picture of a of a soldier, you know, like of back when, you know, and he's like he's like, "You know, dude, I want to be brave. You know, I want to be strong like that soldier." You know, he's got these illustrations up and he's like, "Can I be the same dude? He has his like dad's sword or some shit, right?" It's like, "Can I be as brave as that man, dude?" Wow. 
What a different time, man. And everyone's dressed well, too. You know what I mean? Look at that. This looks like a... Here we go. Is this, like, him growing up, you know? Like, because it looks like the same kid. You know, like, this is him, first grade, and then he's getting older. You know, now he's, like, he's a, maybe a high schooler, you know? And he's, or, or yeah, he's writing these notes. Here we go. Oh, he's, is this him? No, I don't know. This is this some kid, uh, making a, a ship right here. Look at, that. look at these, look at that, the glow of these yellows and these reds. It's just gorgeous, man. Ahead of him, so much to master all alone. Yet, only you can care for him in the little things like this. There you go. Yeah. Damn. So much to master, dude. Look at that. Back when, uh, if you saw, if you saw your kid have, like, an actual, like, create, like, creative ability, it was actually a good thing, right? Yeah. You, you'd think that in, like, the 1920s, um, they'd be like, oh, dude, art, dude, you can't, you can't do that. You're gonna be poor, dude. You're not gonna make it, you know? But back then, dude, um, I remember, uh, I was reading about Leindecker, right? And they, when, when his parents found out, that he had any kind of ability in drawing, they took all their money and put it into Leindecker, right? And, uh, well, he became Leindecker, right? It worked out, okay? So, back then, having an artistic talent was seen as a profitable means, right? They did not look down on it. They were like, holy shit, dude, my kid's got talent, dude. My kid's got skill. Now, you're like, oh, dude, you aren't uh, working at some grind factory, you know, you don't want to work. At, you don't want to work at some IT company, dude. You want to You want to pursue something that you actually care about. Uh, you're not gonna make any money, dude. You're not gonna survive. You know what I mean, that's the attitude of today, which is a real shame, bro. Because um, look at look at what's possible, dude. You know, you think Hans Sunbloom wanted to be a banker? No. Okay. Look at this, dude. Look at that snow. I love. Look at how. Oh my God. Look how simply it's like laid on, like, you know? But it's just so, so much nice energy. He's got these cool little blurs right here, you know, these lost edges. I'm telling you, look at that, the warmth of that face, dude. Look how much red is on that face, dude. That's not natural, you know? But it feels just right, you know? Look at that. Even the crows, even the crows are like, hell yeah, dude, hell yeah, dude. Tell how it is, dude. Yeah. Um, damn, he did a lot of cream of wheat uh, uh, illustrations. Here we go. Um, look at that. It's like 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 you know the kids. Uh, it, it looks like a like husband and wife, you know, kind of thing. But like their kids, you know, because they, they they like to play house, right? You know. And then she's like, "Oh, it's right here, dude. Today, like that day's the day, dude." You know, it's my birthday or or whatever, you know, special occasion. And he's like, that's nice, honey. You know, I don't know why he went southern. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at that light. Okay. Look at that hair. Bro. They don't make him like this anymore, man. They don't make shit like this. No more. Look at that. Look at that yellow right there on the pants. Look at the glow of that arm reflected off the grass. Oh my god! That little bit of that little subtle blue right here, and then on the tie is oh my god. Is art really better now? You know what I mean. I don't know. It's so much more, like, commercial now, right? Like, even then, this is, like, commercial, but you could just feel it, man. You could feel the love and the warmth in the painting from the artist to you, you know? Here we go. Look at this. We have a mother and a daughter, right? A mother and her son, right? 
Look how much care is put into these paintings, man. Look at that. Look at these reds. Look at that red. Look at this, like... Man. And, and these were... These were... These were, uh... These were just put on advertisements. You know what I mean? Like, schoolgirl complexion. Yeah. Now they just take a photo, you know? Who cares about a photo, dude? Not to not to knock the photographers out there, but um The shit like I said dude it hit different bro. Look at that palm olive, right? A painting of soap is better than soap. <clears throat> you know. Always. Look at that. Look at this. Oh man, look at that red. Ooh. Look at the, the, the warmth of the that baby's cheeks, dude. It looks like a little cherub. You know what I mean? Like she's just looking at him, you know. He's he's looking at the audience, right? I don't know. I could I could just see her, you know, rocking the baby. You know what I mean? It's like a painting in motion. Yeah. We haven't even really got to the good stuff yet, either. So. Oh my god. I guess it's all good stuff, right? Man, look at that. Look at the weight. Look at the treatment on that. On these legs, dude. Bro. Bro, look at that. Alright, give me a second. Alright. <clears throat> so, uh, here we go. Oh man, this one looks really nice. It's really small, but... Look at that. I like that circular composition, you know? And how, uh... The, the guy's jacket kind of, like comes a little bit off the uh the circle man look at these i love these little like you know like tidbits you know what i mean yeah i've been experimenting with um these illustrations where you could see a lot of the white of the canvas right uh we'll see how it goes but i just i love this you know what i mean like this kind of like little like snippet like a, a slice you know what i mean of a moment yeah a lot of illustrators do that it, it, it saves a lot of time and it gets the image through and there's nice this nice kind of like loose effect there we go ladies home journal yeah your seat is right here madam there we go yeah she's like clutching Onto some kind of thing. I don't know. Look at that. Look at the way the dress, like, kind of just it fades off. Just gorgeous. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, here we go. We have a a clown and a girl, right? Um, this is before uh, pe people were freaked out. You know, he actually kind of looks like Pennywise. He has, like, that Pennywise hair. That's actually funny, dude. Yeah. You know? And then uh, she's she's not freaked out. You know, he's like, hey, whoa, dude. You ain't freaked out by me? You're my, my, my crazy dolls, dude? You know? Or maybe he's he's telling her, like, a, a little story. You know what I mean? That's sweet. Look at these... Look at these gorgeous colors, man. Look at that, these yellows mixed with this blue. Oh, my God. The red of her dress, you know? Because she's the focal point, right? It all, it all leads to uh, her face, you know? Right? And he's, uh, I guess he's, like I said, he's telling a little story, you know, with these dolls. Oh my god. Yeah. I guess we have a mother and daughter, um, taking out the laundry or some shit, right? Um... Oh, they're bringing, I think they're bringing it to a tailor right here. I don't know if these are, these are linked, you know, but, uh, yeah, it seems similar. Yeah, and here's, like, a, the, the black and white with red, you know, because, um, for printing, they could only do three colors. Yeah. Um, I guess that's just for books, maybe. Magazines, maybe they had, like, full color, I don't know. Because, uh, these illustrations, man, they deserve to be 
printed in full fucking color, dude. Look at that. Look at all these beautiful colors, man. Yeah. I might I might be like uh call this uh video uh the king of color. Yeah. The king of Coca-Cola and color. Oh my goodness. What is this thing? Like I'm trying to figure out like is like a sled or something? Is this like uh you put the wood in there and then you kind of like you light it up? I, I I don't know what this is. Yeah, this seems like a an old device. Well, probably for like a fireplace because it's like logs and stuff. But I'm like, what is this for? Is it so like um when you when it burns all the way through, you can like grab the ashes and just dump it? You know, maybe. Look at that. Just a family sitting at home. You know, dad's got his his uh his smoking pipe. You know, because back then people were smoking all fucking day, dude. Jesus. Yeah. Look at that, I, dude. Come on, dude. Tell me you don't want to be a dad who has a a pipe in his mouth like that. You know what I mean? He's at home just smoking the pipe. Reading some books, you know, he's got his his wife, you know. It's that, it's that white picket fence dream, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. That dream doesn't seem very possible today, but, uh... There's a reason why people think about it like that. Because, uh... Because the image is like this, man. You know, it's selling you something that, uh... Can only be painted, dude. It's a, it's a dream, dude, you know. Like, can you imagine being like a like a miner, you know, like in the like a coal miner in the fucking nineteen thirties, dude, you know, and or d the Great Depression just hit, and you're just like, you know, you're you're feeling awful, you know, the Great Depression just hit, bro, and then you see an image like this, dude, you see paintings like these, and you, it gives someone hope, you know what I mean, for the future, you know, like you know, I I want to be like this guy dude you know i want to have this nice house i want to have like so it, you know um it reminds people that they're there's good you know that like you know if you work hard there there could be something like this waiting for you you know what i mean maybe not exactly like this but um the imagery sure sure helps you know what i mean yeah i'm surprised his uh sunbloom's work wasn't collected before i don't know like i don't i don't understand why they don't do that? Maybe maybe Coca Cola has like a lot of his paintings, or uh, his paintings were destroyed or some shit. I don't know, right? Uh, well, actually, obviously not. But you know what I mean, since they're here. But I I just don't see why people didn't haven't collected it before. Here we go. We have a teacher. Um, I guess she's talking about geography right here to uh, to this to this girl. Look at that. Look at the two little boys sleeping in bed. Right. Look at that. Look how look how tucked in they are. Look how look how like uh knock the fuck out they are, dude. You know? Like he's probably he's probably gonna drool, man. You know, uh, yeah, but look at all these oh my god, look at all these colors you just mixing and playing with each other and these yellows and these whites. Oh my goodness. Yeah. The composition is good because first you gotta look at this guy, you know, because everything is leading to him. Right, and then um, you know, obviously you look like, oh, there's a hand right here, and then whoop, you know, to the little brother, just, just really cute, man. Just real adorable stuff, dude. Here we go. <clears throat> look at that. I guess we have a. A sailorman, right? Maybe a man who's in the navy, uh, and uh, his girl, right, sitting in that wicker chair. Beautiful. I love this composition. You know, like the just the cutout of it. It's just really nice. Yeah, I think the wife just had a new baby, right, and uh, the older sister is checking out, going like, "Oh, is that my, is that my sister or brother?" You know. 
Damn. Here we go. Um, I think this is like a maid or something, and she's like stitching up the, uh, she's, no, 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 um, a nurse, yeah, Procter and Gamble, I don't know, hold up, my cat is going crazy, okay, sorry about that, cat wanted to get in, okay, so we have, um, grandma, right, hanging out with uh, her grandkids, right, and she's, uh, maybe lent her one of her old dresses, and she's like, oh, look at me, I'm a lady, you know? Right, beautiful. Look at this color work, man. Look at that yellow. Look at that little bit of subtle purple right there on the legs. It's just, man. Man, look at Grandma, dude. Look at all the great colors that are going on here, man. Just, uh... I can see that he tries to insert as many colors as possible, and uh, as an artist, I appreciate that. You know, I I try to take the same mantra. Here we go. Uh, what's happening right here? Oh, okay, okay. So I'm guessing. Okay, so I'm guessing that this, you know, we got the older brother, the younger brother, right? And the younger brother, he just, uh, I think he just broke the, the older brother's toy right here. You can see the plane, like, the wing is kind of broken right there. Um, and he's like, he's like, no, I didn't mean it. And he's like, oh, dude, I'm gonna bust your ass right now, dude. I'm gonna fuck you up, dude. You know? Come on, dude. How many, like, you know, if you, if you've had a brother, dude, you know, and you're an older brother, dude, come on, dude. You, you've had this feeling, dude, where, like, this, they just messed with the, they messed with your toy, dude, and you're like, hey, dude, don't mess with it, dude. Don't mess with it. Okay, you're gonna break it. You're gonna keep doing it. And then, boom, what happens? They break it, and then what you gotta do, man? You gotta punish him, dude. You gotta teach him a lesson, dude. You gotta... <sighs> I love how he's, like, he's practicing piano. He's like, he's like, nah, dude, you're fucked now, dude. He's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Here we go. This is bringing me back to a youth that I never had, dude. You know what I mean? Just bringing you into this moment. Yeah, we have the... We have, we're having a little kid's birthday party, right? Um, I think... Is it is it her birthday or his birthday? I think it might be his birthday. No, no, no. No, no, she's getting it first, so it must be hers. Yeah. This must be like the little brother or some shit, right? Yeah, yeah, because she, she's the focal point. Everyone's looking to her. Right? She's looking up at the, the maid, right? Yeah. Back when they had when back when they had maids, like for real. Or a a house helper, I guess. <clears throat> Here we go. Man, look at these colors, man. They're so gorgeous. Look at that red the red of that bucket, dude. It's just it's just glowing at me. You know what I mean? Tell you man, oil paints, they they have this quality about them that you just can't get in other any, any other medium you know what i mean like the the richness the depth of the color you know and yet it still looks right yeah here we go we have some some kids on a tricycle right they're they're going out. i i think they're i think they're old enough for a bike you know what i mean i don't think they need to use tricycles at this point yeah who knows yeah they, they look like they're good for for a regular bike, you know what I mean? But I guess that was just the way it was back then. Um, oh, this, it's funny because uh, this mother, you know, I know it's supposed to be like black hair, but she's got this, um, this uh, ultramarine blue hair, right? Which kind of looks funny. Um, it looks like, it looks like it's like dyed blue, you know what I mean? Yeah, like from far away, it looks like black, but when I get close, I can see that it's actually blue to match the, the pants right here. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, it's just funny to see, like, colored hair in, like, the 1950s, you know what I mean? Or 30s, I guess. Yeah. Here we go. We have some gorgeous women right here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. I love the, the hat right here. I love these... You know these summer hats? I wish... 
people would wear them more. You know what I mean? I like the like the droopy like you know kind of kind of hat. Yeah. Advertising illustration for Kame. Okay. Yeah. So I, I guess they're he's the the book's kind of categorizing them by the the advertiser that purchased them. You know, it makes sense because they they want the um they want to keep them like you know uh consistent you know what i mean <clears throat> do 94 men want to marry the same girl certainly not damn you gotta stand out girl you gotta have some of that came whatever that is i guess it's a uh, for the fresh natural skin men admire yeah damn Look at that. Look at these gorgeous gals, man. And then she's like, you know, like you're you're a woman looking at this is like, oh dude, uh could I look like a paint could I look like an oil painting with uh with came dude? You know? Oh dude, look at this one. This one is so nice. This is my favorite on the page, bro. Look at that. It's just the softness, you know what I mean? So nice. Look at this. Look at the look at the color of the this pelt right here. Just really nice. Yeah. Now I, I you know now I kind of want to try out this like you know black illustration or black uh black background. You know what I mean? And then just have like this really like this nice cutout right here. Look at that. Look at that fucking wow. Isn't it good to be back in a Buick? Yep. The Buick 8, dude. Let's see, $765. No other car in the world has all these features. Damn. Yeah, can you imagine buying a car for $765? Six six percent time payment plan. Damn, bro. Back when a dollar was like huge. Now you have a, uh, you have twenty bucks. You know you can't buy shit for it, dude. That, that's that's one meal for, for twenty bucks, dude. Twenty bucks could that could have bought you like fucking, like three five star meals, dude. Look at this kid, dude. I just love the red of the cheeks, man. How how red he goes. You know what I mean? Yeah, we have Santa Claus, like a, a guy dressed up as Santa Claus, and I guess. Uh... Oh, oh, I guess I think she he's making. She's making a donation. You know what I mean? Yeah, or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, because she's got a glove on one hand. Yeah, she just took off the glove. She's, I think she's, um, I think this is like a coin purse or something. And she's like, you know, making a donation to those, you know, you know, like the Santa Claus, like they have the ding, 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 ding. They have the, the, like the little donation things. Yeah. Oh, look at this dude. Yeah. Looks like this kid, uh, just, just washed the car for him. You know, just wax it. It's like, it's like. Damn kid, you're pretty good. And he's like, "Yep, that's what my pa taught me. You got to you got to re you got to you got to swipe in circles. That's the key, you know, to get that real nice shine." Look at that. Just wholesome, dude. Wholesome, okay? That's why I like about these pictures. They're so they're just so goddamn wholesome, dude. You know what I mean? Look at this. Yeah, we got a woman uh Coming in with an older gentleman. I don't know. I don't know what this is exactly, but it's a nice painting, dude. It's a nice painting. I don't know what's trying to connotate. Yeah. Here we go. I'm guessing um, <clears throat> either uh, husband and wife or uh, 
what do you call it, uh, father and daughter. I don't know. She looks really young, but you know what I mean? Like, when, when it's a painting, they, they tend to look younger. Yeah. Just entering a car. You know what I mean? Look at that. Look at the colors going on right here. This is crazy. Like, well, I got your purples right here. You got these yellows. You got these deep blues and greens. You know what I mean? You know, his glove is green. You got all these colors going on. It just, it just works, you know? Todd Howard, it just works, man. Look at the green on this. I think this is like a, like a night sky, you know what I mean? And like, uh, two lovers driving in the night, you know what I mean? Strangers in the night, dude. Exchanging glances. Yeah, we have a woman driving out on the coast, you know what I mean? She's all she's a uh, all by herself, but she having a good time, you know what I mean? Out to go uh out to go party at the beach, you know what I mean? Or just uh sunbathe. Yeah. <clears throat> Whatever this. Is this the oh I think this might be the young couple. Hold on. She got red hair, she's got red hair. Her face looks very similar. These two guys, like, this guy's... Yeah, I think it might be the same. Maybe they're going, like, cross-country. You know what I mean? And now they're, uh... They're in the south. You know, the meet, meet an old cowboy. And he's like, let me tell you a tale or two of the West. You know? And they're like, you know, these, like, you know, city boy and city girl. And he's like, whoa, I've, I, I don't know what it's like to be in the country. Coffee blended with coffee, patiently and skillfully. I don't know what they said. Coffee blended with coffee. Oh. Oh, coffee was the brand. I don't know. Yeah, because it's like capital coffee. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. <clears throat> Ever on the street. Ma Maxwell House Coffee Country. Oh my goodness. Look at this night scene, man. Look at this. Look at this color. Oh my goodness. You know, the, 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 I really like, um, like, yellow light with blue shadows. You know what I mean? And, like, night, nighttime is, like, perfect for that kind of lighting. So I just, I just really, really like this. And we have a, a woman, like, she's, like, off the page, you know? Creating this shadow. I don't know what that's there for. But, um... Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. I love the, the way he treated this, uh... This waiter right here, you know? And then she's having, like, a little discussion. Look at that. Look how, look how well people were dressed back then, man. Good to the last drop, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Tell you, dude. I see a painting like this, dude. I'll, I'll cough up some cash to to buy some uh, some coffee. That some of that coffee. Look at this. We got a little baboo right here. Look at that. Look at how fucking. Look at how cute he is, dude. Look at that. He's got such pinchable cheeks, man. You know. Look at that. That's a beautiful baby, man. And like the color. Oh my god. Look at the and you got the blanket right here. With just this, like these ugh, God, big glacks of paint, dude. You know, you know me, dude. I like, I like thick, impasto paint, dude. You know, look at that white. Oh my God. So cute, dude. Look at him, dude. So innocent. Look at that, dude. You know, um, I I want kids, right? But my friend, uh, he doesn't. He doesn't want kids, dude. But I'm like, yo. Uh, look at this illustration, dude. It might change your mind, dude. You know? Might change your mind, dude. Have a little baby like that, dude. Adorable. Look at that. It's got... Got the little shoes on. That's so cute, dude. You know, got a little doll right here. Oh my god. Oh, oh this is for Gerber. Okay, that makes sense. Look at that, dude. I'm telling you, dude, if you're, if you're a mother, you know, and you see these paintings... You're like, oh, dude, I'm going to buy Gerber, okay? I'm going to buy Gerber straight up, okay? Look at that. Little, you know, mom playing with her kid. And he's like, yeah, you know, he's having a good time. He's a little big, dude. He's a little big. 
right? I guess he's like, he's maybe like two, dude, at this point. Yeah. You know, look at this little kid eating, eating some kind of like soup or, or a, a yogurt. I don't know what the hell, but it's just so cute. Look at the, the yellows and the color of the, okay. One thing I really like about Han Sunbloom is the way he treats hair, you know? It's just so, like, loose, but, like, gorgeous. Just, my god, dude. So much life. Put into these paintings, man. Here we go. Quality that charms, dude. Lucky strikes, dude. It's toasted. Yeah. Yeah, dude, can you imagine yourself, dude, being a, uh... A man back then, dude, you know? And a, and a beautiful woman comes up and she got lucky strikes, you know? She... And he's like, it's like, thank you. Okay. I'm telling you, dude. Sells these... It sells the product, dude. Okay? Notice how the product is off to the side, dude. They're like, forget the product, dude. It's just these guys, dude. And it's like, here, on the side, dude. Yeah. Back when they thought cigarettes were, uh... Were the shit, dude, for everything. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Mother's Day. Remember Mother? Yeah, and they got the, they're advertising these uh, Whitman's chocolate. Look at that. Good beer for good fellows. Look at that. It's just look, look, like we got pe just people having a good time with some beers, dude. With some, with, uh, what is it? With some Paps Blue Ribbon, dude? Come on, bro. Come on. There you go. Advertisement for Frigidaire. Yup. Look at that dude. Hap happily, happy family. You know what I mean? The dad's playing as Santa, right? And uh, they're all having a real nice time, dude, right next to the Frigidaire, dude, right? Don't you want your family to be as happy as these guys, dude, with the Frigidaire, you know? Look at how happy the wife is, dude. It's like, finally, dude, I have a Frigidaire fridge. And the kids, dude, they're like, Dad, you know, I'm so proud of you. You're able to afford a Frigidaire fridge. She's like, he's like, that's right, Billy. Look at that. Look at this kid, dude. Look at this kid. He's playing rugby. You know, he's playing football. Uh, he's getting, he's getting the scraps, dude. You know what I mean? He's got, a, he's, he got his shirt a little ripped up here. Um, but he's got, but he's got a, he's got a hearty meal ahead of him, dude, because he's got to get energized, okay, to go out there again, dude, rip him up, tear him up, dude, get out there. There we go. A gift that increases in value. United States savings bond. Okay. Yeah, I guess, I guess this is, these are for war bonds. You know. Or I guess savings bonds. Here we go. National biscuit shredded wheat. An original Niagara Falls product, okay? Today I feel like flying to Mars. Yeah. Are these like big shredded wheats? Yeah, these look big. You know what I mean? Like a fucking hand... Like, you know like the cereal shredded wheats, right? These look like fucking like... <sighs> shredded wheat. Like you fucking... You eat... Like you fucking... You chomp on that shit. Yeah, look at the strawberries. The size of this dude. Damn. Honestly, I kind of want to try that. Looks pretty good. Yeah, like a shredded wheat biscuit. There we go. Let's change to Christmas. Crispness now. Cornflakes. Kellogg's Cornflakes. It's crazy to see, like, these companies that we've seen... That we see nowadays. Like, just back... Like, way back then. You know what I mean? Here we go. Keep your war bonds in this free budget portfolio. Ooh, war bond portfolio. Okay. Nice. Here we go. Oh, we have a uh, we have some older kids playing with the the younger brother, right? Giving him a little 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 mustache, you know, a little silly nose. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they're messing him with it messing with him a little bit you know it's just some some good honest fun you know what i mean you know what i mean from like when you're a kid dude just some good honest fun here we go we have a man 
riding, riding into the night, dude. You know, he's working hard. He's grinding it out. You know, maybe he's uh, his passions are running, running hot. You know, he's getting the story done. Who knows, dude? Cook with cold and enjoy life. Kelvinator. Okay. What is this? What is Kelvinator? Cook with cold and enjoy life. I'm guessing this is uh, some kind of... Kelvinator is some kind of uh, like stovetop. I don't know. That's like a little bit... Takes up less heat. So elusive yet so alluring. The whispering fragrance lingers on. Ooh. Cashmere bouquet. Oh, hey. It's so elusive yet so alluring. Damn, like... So, here we go. I guess she's playing piano or something. Is this piano? I don't know what it is. She's sitting at a table. Yeah, no, she's playing piano. Yeah, because there's like the little, little right here. Um, and this man, dude, he's a... Uh, He's giving her the old Joe Biden dude, giving that, giving that, that sniff, you know, but it's it's so like it's there, but it's not, dude. It's so elusive. Look at this, bro. Look at this motherfucking painting, dude. Look at the colors going on here, dude. This is an explosion, dude. It's like, oh, you know, man. Look at the like the blues here, the the pinks and purples on the dress. Look at that, and that yellow just creeping in to like highlight the the faces. Woo! Cashmere bouquet. Yup. Same same advertising company. Look at that man. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah. It actually looks more natural on the uh, on the illustration. Right here. Man, with the colors. Yeah, I, I, I kinda like seeing these like, you know, with the with the advertisement, you know, alongside it. It's just uh because you get to see them like, you know, as they were presented to other people, you know what I mean? So you get this really nice it's really nice uh look, you know. And you get to see like like oh dude, you know, if you're flipping through a magazine that like this is what I see, you know what I mean? Like spring's fresh fragrance, the flower-like perfume of this exquisite soap. Damn. Now only ten cents. The former twenty-five cents size. Yeah, dude. The aristocrat of fine soaps. Listen, dude. If you if you're a if you're a true aristocrat, dude. If you're a top of the line, dude. You just you gotta cough up that ten cents for the soap, bro. Okay, that's all I gotta say, dude. That. Never a bride so lovely, dude. You wanna you wanna get married? You wanna get married like this girl, dude? Have a fine man, you know? Uh, your whole family's there looking at you, dude. Happy, dude. You gotta get cashmere bouquet, dude. You gotta get it, bro. You wanna have this lovely moment, dude? In the in the in the park, dude. You know. With your with your lover, right? Feeling that springtime air, dude. You gotta get that cashmere bouquet, man. I'm telling you, it's what's hot right now, dude. Only one soap gives your skin this exciting bouquet. Yup. Because uh, you know this uh, lovely man from the navy has just given this beautiful woman a beautiful bouquet. The only way to get that bouquet is by having cashmere bouquet right here, dude. All right? That's the only way to get it, dude. Here we go. Same thing, dude. The ex this exciting bouquet right here. You know, she's looking at these flowers like, oh, dude, look at these gorgeous flowers dude, given to me by this wonderful man, dude. You know? There's only one way to do it, dude. With cashmere bouquet. Only 10 cents. Man, look at that. I love this, like, you know, like, you know, man with a woman, you know, and this, and these uh, flowers right here, dude. Gorgeous, dude. Adorns your skin with the fragrance men love. 
I don't know, man. I don't know. I've never tried cashmere's. Uh, I've never, I've never seen anyone use cashmere bouquet, but um, I believe it, man. Look at these paintings, dude. I, I believe it. Here we go. Look at that. Look at all these. Oh my goodness. I like this one a lot right here. Look at how happy this couple is, man. Yeah. Look at this, man. Wow. I love how, like, a lot of them are, like, looking at the flowers, you know? Like, like you want this bouquet, dude? You know? Bro, look at this. Holy shit. I didn't even... I, I was looking at this, and I didn't even notice this fucking... Wow. This beautiful illustration, dude. Look at that. Look at that, man. You got these flowers. You got, like... You got this couple just... In each other's embrace with the with this beautiful dress, dude. Oh my god, dude! You got a little bit of nip action right here. Just wow, man. A man can dream. A man can dream. Look at that. Look at this class, dude. Look at the fucking class, dude. You know, dude, that's the one thing, dude, okay? People ain't got no class no more, man, okay? Women and men of today, dude, we ain't got no class now, dude. No wonder no wonder things gone to shit, bro, okay? Because, uh... Man, they were... Things were different back then, man. People... People were different back then, dude. You know? Look at this class, man. Look at that. look at these flowers, man. Look at that expression. Just my god, dude. Tell me this tell me this illustration didn't feel like a breath a breath of fucking fresh air, dude, you know. Breathing in that springtime, man. Damn. Look at these, man. Look at these. Yeah, well, we got a we got a woman, you know, she's of the, she's of a darker nature. Ooh. You know? Look at that. Yeah, woman, a man putting on this coat. It's like, oh, it's, it's, it's cold out there. You know, let me, let me put on this jacket for you. Isn't that what we want, dude? You know? Uh, it does, isn't all we want, dude? You know, a man, as a man, dude, to put on your jacket, dude. For a beautiful woman, you know, and don't you, as a woman, right, just want to have a gorgeous guy, dude, put on this jacket for you, dude, you know, because you're so caring, dude. Look, it's, it's it was just simpler, dude. You know, this shit don't happen on Tinder, okay? Nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Shit ain't the same, bro. Look at this. Look at this. I love this one right here. You're on, you're on, they're on the beach, you know, it's a sunny day, dude. Look at that. Just, bro. Bro. Look at that. Bro. Bro, can you imagine seeing this? And Im Listen, dude, you see this, you're gonna buy the product, dude, okay? I've said it a million times, dude. I'm going to say it one more time again, dude. And I'm going to say it a 500 million times again because this book is just full of that shit, dude. Because Han Subloon's book, his uh, his artwork, man, it sells, man. It sells that product, dude. Okay? There's a reason why they keep hiring him again and again, dude. Because they look at this painting, they're like, yo. Yo. This is going to sell. This is going to sell some cash for bouquet, dude. I'll tell you what. Looks like he did a lot of illustrations for them, man. Man, look at that. Look at these flowers, man. Look at this. And she's just got a new ring, dude. You know? They just got married or some shit. Or he just proposed. Woo! Oh, me, oh my, dude. Look at this. You know, they're... They're in a happy marriage, you know, they get, they're looking through their family album right here, you know, all the memories that have been captured. 
Different time, man. Different time, dude. There we go. Okay. Ooh, finally we're we're moving on, dude. We're 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 out of the fragrance department, right? Here we go. Advertising illustration for Packard. This is like Hewlett and Packard? Hewlett Packard? Yeah, look at this. Men at work, dude. You know, designing these gears, dude. That's fucking cool. Look, look at this expression, dude. Yeah. Yeah, these, these are for the, the men, dude. You know? Here we go. We have this guy um, scanning these. I don't know what these are. These stacks of cash. These gold bricks. I don't know what the hell they are. Here we go. So I'm guessing they were... They do science and research, you know? Or they're testing steel. Yeah, look at this. He's looking at the infograph. He's he's uh, pressing it down, seeing how much pressure it could take. Scientist man. Look at all these beakers. Look, look at all this. This is so cool, dude. I'll tell you, dude, I, I like how, how much um, how much range um, Hans Sunbloom has. Because, like, you, like, you know, I'm telling you, like, these were just separated by one page. Dude, look at this. Look. You have, like, these flowery, beautiful, high-key illustrations. And then you have fucking these men working in the dark, dude. You know? Uh, try, trying to figure something out, dude. And there's beauty in both, dude. Here we go. A life was lived. Yeah. Got this beautiful woman reading this reading this magazine. Beautiful. Yeah. I guess they design cars. I don't know. I don't know what Packard does. Look at that. We have a little girl right here with some flowers. I don't know. I don't know what she's gonna do. She is she about to go like Hey, mister, you know, I'll, I'll give you these flowers if you let me ride in the car. She's like, he's like, sure, dear. You know, where, where, you look, where are you trying to go? There we go. The General Tire. There you go, for uh, General Tire and Rubber Company. Carefree tires are essential to a carefree day. Damn. All right. Let's see. So this is made for Schlitz beer. Okay. Yeah. So we have a a woman at work, right? She's trimming those uh, those hedges, and uh, uh, a man, presumably her husband, offers a a stout little beer. Okay. Perfect little drink for a refreshing day. You know, after a day's hard work, right? Beautiful. Look at that. The highest note in beer. Okay. Look at that. Got this beautiful painting of a woman singing. Th those microphones are really cool. I wish they... I wish they kept that design. You know? Because, like, microphones today, they always have, like, the same kind of, like... Um... Like, ice cream cone design. But this is this is a little different. You know? It looks, it looks kind of... looks strangely more futuristic. You know what I mean? Yeah. Here we go. The man with a little and the man with a lot may be miles apart in the worldly things they possess, but like the right to vote, America's most distinguished beer is enjoyed by both. Yep. Okay. So basically, going like, yo, you should go vote. Okay. Uh, it's every man's right to vote, and it's every man's right to have to enjoy a Schlitz. Mm -hmm. The beer that made Milwaukee famous. Oh. <clears throat> Here we go. Just to share our thoughts with somebody else or our picnic lunch with a friend helps us to keep our balance in this topsy-turvy world. For millions of Americans, the simple joys of companionship are made deeper, richer, more satisfying with a glass of friendly sh Schlitz. Brewed with just the kiss with the kiss of hops, none of the bitterness. Damn. Just the kiss of hops. Just a little 
a little bit of hops, you know, making that beer uh, a lot less uh, bitter, apparently. I don't really like beer, so I'll have to take their word for it. Oh my goodness. Now this is a fucking spread right here, dude. Damn. Look at this. Oh my goodness. What is this? Illustration for Swift Swift's Meats. Look at this. We have a we have a family uh, making a prayer, right? Even even the baby, even the little baby's having a prayer. Oh, that's adorable, dude. But just look at the treatment of this painting, man. I just, oh my god. Like, I like how, like, you know, back here, like, these shelves are a little bit loose, you know what I mean? But the paint on the, on the faces is just so nice. Look at that. Oh my god, look, look, look how delicate, delicately the hair is drawn, the face is made, and, like, the, the, this, these touches of white right here. Oh my god. Look at that. Ah, oh, I just love it. Look at that. Look at the drapery right here. Look at that dog. Look at that fucking dog, dude. Look how good that shit looks. Oh my god. Man, this is this is a this is a this is a real nice one, you know? And there's so many colors going on too. There's like this this green, you know. And then there's these blues back in, in the background, but they, they're, they're all working together. Jesus Christ, man. Look at this. This is, this is, this is a fucking painting right here, dude. Jesus Christ. Wow. Man, I need to get better, dude. I was like, uh, people like Hat and Sunbloom out there, dude. Ooh, it's hard to it's hard to stand out, bro. Cause uh, there's there's just people like this dude that are just look at that look at that baby dude, look at that. It's <laughs> better baby your car. So <laughs> so Ohio motor oil. What the fuck? Look at that. You you look at this dude and you're like you're like oh dude what is this ad for? I thought it was like some kind of like like baby food like Gerber. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because he, he, they had the previous Gerber advertisement, but no, it's so Ohio Motor Oil. That's fucking funny, dude. <laughs> Lucky kids, he didn't stay retired. Oh, okay. So let's see. Uh, save save your doctor's time in in wartime. Okay. All right. Sorry, my, my allergies are kind of going off right now. Okay. Oh, we have a we have a rump rambunctious child, right, with his mother, right, and he uh he just uh, slipped and fell in the mud, and she's like, "Fucking again, dude, Billy! I swear to God, dude, I swear to God, dude, I just washed." These pants, that that exact shirt, dude. What do you do, dude? Five minutes in, dude, you slip in the mud. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, so we have a we have a man and a woman. I think he's uh, he's just about to to go off to war, right? Or he or he just came back. I don't, I'm not sure. And uh, she's lighting up a little cigarette for her for him, right? And they're just look at they're just look how happy they are in each other's presence, man. That's just delightful. You know what I mean? And you got a you got an old man going like, I remember when I was young. You know what I mean? I remember when I fought in the war and I had had a pretty girl waiting for me back at home. So fuck it's and this is a this is a cigarette cur uh ad, dude. Okay, that's just wholesome. Okay, right. Even back then, dude, uh, everything was just fucking, like, these, like, all of Hattie Sunblue's paintings, dude, they're just fucking wholesome, dude, okay? And I just, oh my goodness, dude, look at that. Alright, this, now this is fucking beautiful, dude, look at, look at the way he, 
treated this garment, dude. Just, God, 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 dude, these heavy strokes. Man. I gotta start incorporating stuff like this, dude, into my work. You know, just these, like these... Look at that. Look at the way this dress is, man. It's like, like you, you look and you could see it's just like, you know, one big, uh, like, like, oh, it's just like the, like her blouse or whatever, right? But if you look closely, you could see it's just like, just a bunch of strokes, just, you know, right here. Bah, 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 bah. Oh my God. Same thing with these flowers. It's just so nice. So fucking nice. Advertisement illustration for Budweiser. See, dude, these are just good paintings, you know? And then, like, I feel like they, they'd make these great paintings, and then they would just, uh, like, design the ad around it, you know? It's like, we just want, we, 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 listen, dude, we just want these great-ass paintings, you know? And then we'll just, like, be like, uh, yo, uh, her favorite beer, dude, is Budweiser, dude. Okay, you see this girl, you see this gorgeous gal, dude? What does she want, dude, after a, a, a great show, dude? A refreshing Budweiser done okay and then like it's just an excuse to to make this to put this great art into advertising man all right <clears throat> drugless sleep is the best morning bracer okay Ovaltine what is that wake up perky in the morning so I'm guessing it's a uh, Plain and chocolate flavor. Okay. Yeah. So, so I guess it's some kind of like sleeping, uh, sleeping drink. You know, you drink it in the night and you wake up better, right? Apparently, I don't know. <clears throat> they choose it for flavor. Luscious tomatoes. Oh, okay. And drink it for health. Yeah. So, command uh, Campbell's tomato juice. Yep. Could have had a V eight, dude. Look at that. Look, they, they make even... Look, look. They even make tomato juice look fucking good, dude. I mean, look at that. Tell me you don't want to drink that. You know? Like, I look at this and I'm like... I'm like... I, I think of, like, some, like, really nice, pleasant drink. You know? Like, some kind of, like... Like a, like, like a Snapple or a Kool-Aid. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you're like... Oh, dude, uh... We'll call it just drink it, dude, for uh, for health too. You know what I mean? And the way the coloring is, it just makes it look so appealing, man. Yeah, you know, look at that kid, dude. You think a kid wants to drink tomato juice? <clears throat> I wouldn't, dude. But uh, the way they present it, dude, looks fucking delicious, bro. Yeah, oh, I like this one. This is like much, much more loose. Okay. Oh, okay, so, oh, wow, okay, so I read that, uh, Had Some Bloom would, uh, basically do roughs in oil, right, real quick, um, basically have, like, everything there, uh, and just do it really, really quickly, and then he would present it, um, like, like, uh, for example, what do you call it, to the Coca-Cola guys, right, and then they would pass it around, be like, oh, do we like this, right? And then they would, after they would confirm it, um, he would just take it and finish it, refine it, right? So uh, you get to see from the beginning basically the whole painting, you know, just with the colors and everything, and here he he just refines it. Yeah. Man, that's, that's so cool, dude. It's so quick. Look at that. That's such a nice, this is such a nice thing, dude. You know, like, you could see it right away. You could see the whole thing immediately. Yeah. Wow, this is this is really nice. Because I get to see, like, like at least for me, because I get to see his process and see how he, uh, how quickly he gets things done, you know? Wow, look at that. That's so cool. Yeah, this is a rough, dude. This is a, this is a color study. Wow. The finish looks fantastic, dude. Old Forester. Okay. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, bottled in bond, 100 proof. Brown Foreman Distillers Corporation at Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. Look at that, dude. Very nice. 
There you go. College study for Aunt Jemima? Or, J yeah. Jemima? Yeah, yeah. Jemima? I don't know. Uh, I think this is the, uh, the, uh, what do you call it? The advertisement for, like, you know, the, the, uh, the, the rice, you know? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. But anyway, <clears throat> but look how, look at this, dude. You can see that it's already, it's already there, dude. You know? Like this quick one. It's like, and then he go, whoop, right here. Finish, dude. So I was actually reading this book, um, last night, and I found out that, um, like, Han Sunbloom paints, like, stupid fast, okay? And when I mean stupid fast, I mean, like, ridiculous. So, like, there was a little story inside of this book, uh, talking about how, um, he, he got an assistant, right, one time, and it was, like, during the winter, and, you know, in Chicago, it's fucking windy as shit, right? So he was, he, like, he's like, oh, assistant, uh, take this painting to, to send it out to the, out to Coca-Cola, right, basically. And, uh, as he was walking across the bridge, the wind picked up the, 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 the painting and flung it over, over the bridge into the river, right? Uh, the kid was like, yo, uh, I don't think I go to work tomorrow, because, uh, I'm basically fired, right? And, uh, they, he told Haddon, and Haddon, uh, was like, well, shit, dude. And then he made the entire painting all over again, uh, overnight, and was able to, uh, and, uh, and was able to ship it. And they were like, oh, dude, this is great, dude. Done. You know? In one night, okay? After, like, after in the morning, losing the painting, in one day, he p repainted the whole thing perfect dude and i'm like i can't i can't even imagine dude i can't even imagine having that level of speed dude jesus but yeah i, I like to see i like to see this you know stuff like this because it shows how how quickly he could get things done that's just that's just fantastic man yeah this is making me rethink my whole process right now because like seeing how quickly he does this just adds like this really nice energy to it you know and he and he look he completely shifts colors all the time, dude. Just, you know, like, oh, dude, this is not gonna work. I need this deeper blue, you know what I mean? I need, this guy's green. It's like, nah, I'm gonna make him gray. You know what I mean? He's taking too much attention away. That's, that's just really nice. Wow. Alright, so, we have, uh, we have some more Christmas ads, right? Billboard advertisement, okay. So, I don't, we don't, we don't know what it was for, but look at that, dude. We got a we got a woman, right? She's she's ripping out those trees, right, for Christmas. Beautiful. Got a little bit of snow on her, but she's fine, you know, she's good, dude. Wholesome, dude. Wholesome, dude. Yeah, she's in the loving embrace of uh of this uh snowman right here. Or just shoving the head on, I guess. Yeah. It looks like the, the snowman is like you're like, hey girl, and she's like and she's like, Oh stop. You know what I mean? That kinda that kind of vibe. Look at that, such a... Look at all these colors going on, man. It's so nice. So fucking nice, dude. Oh my god. And to know that he he painted this probably like in a day, dude. It's mind-blowing. <clears throat> okay. Wine advisory board, okay. So... Let's see now. We got a woman and a man. We got this cool. I guess this is this is a wine. It looks like a whiskey. I don't think this is a wine. Yeah. It's just some kind of alcohol. But look at this. Look at this crazy lamp design. Like, whoa. This is this is this is crazy. Yeah. This is like some retro futurism shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Honestly, I wish I had a lamp that looked like this. Like. This is so much cooler than, like, the shit we have now. You know what I mean? Jesus. Why is, our, why is everything that we have so boring now? You know what I mean? All our props. Like, they had so much cooler shit back then. Here we go.
we have a, a man gingerly slicing this uh, ham, right? It reminds me of the um, that Tom and Jerry uh, when they go to France, and there's like the the little mouse cutting cutting the uh, the ham, you know, just like that very thin slice. Yeah, that's probably made it th during this time. Thinking about it now. <clears throat> Yeah, so I, I'm guessing that the, the wine advisory board was just like, you know, dude, just make some paintings of just people <coughs> enjoying life, you know, and then there's, there's a cup of wine there, too. You know what I mean? Just a little bit of wine. A little bit of drink, dude, just to make the day a little bit better, you know? Right? Some men at work, right? They've, they've been having a hard day, and the, the, the wives are coming in with the, with the refreshments incoming. You know what I mean? Beautiful. Joyous. Look at that. Oh, they're doing the little wishbone thing? Yeah. People don't do that anymore. But that's not, uh, man. Come on. That's how you do it. It's making me feel nostalgic for a time that I never that, that I never experienced. Look at that. Oh, I guess uh the the dad is like uh is like you know preparing flowers for uh... oh no they're giving flowers to the family you know like to to I, I guess uh, maybe his uh... his daughter or his daughter-in-law you know it's like oh we brought you these beautiful flowers you know and then boom right here dude the wine okay on the side right just to just to accent those beautiful moments look at that <clears throat> A birthday wish together over good food and wine. Beautiful, dude. Look at that. A toast, okay, to Grandma. Look at that. Happy birthday, Grandma. So fucking wholesome, bro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> these are so. These are some fantastic paintings, man. I'm just. I'm just blown away, dude, at the quality of every single painting. And to know that he's... He's doing them quick, too. It's just... Wow. Wow, dude. Makes me feel like a nub, dude. Still so much to learn for, about painting, bro. I like this composition, the... Ch -ch -ch, you know? That. It, like, each person leads to the other. You know what I mean? That's really nice. Same thing here. You know what I mean? Wow. United States Brewers. Look at that. Can you imagine, like, Budweiser? You know, advertising with, like, something like this, dude? Come on, dude. Right? That's just so much better one than what they do now. Yeah. I feel like I feel like ads today and and like people have just become a lot more disconnected than before and it's just a goddamn shame you know what I mean it's just not the same dude look at that we got them uh, playing racquetball right here oh uh, do you remember when people played racquetball damn I guess some people might still but like it's definitely dead now <laughs> So we got a. Uh, oh, we, they're playing a uh, horseshoe. <coughs> he's like, bet you, bet you I can make a shot from here. And he's like, oh, you're on, dude. I'll give you, I'll give you two beers. You know what I mean? Very nice. Very simple. Let's see. Oh, I guess they're cooking like right at the fucking fireplace, dude. Yeah, I don't know, that, like, okay, like, that seems cool, but, like, really unnecessary, dude. You know, to cook in a fireplace? What the hell? I guess I've never tried it. <coughs> like, like, imagine, like, having a fireplace and just cooking, uh, hot dogs right there. Yeah. 
I don't know. I don't know. Look at the colors going on here. Just like everything is so like nice and like the saturation is high. It feels so idyllic. You know what I mean? And there's so many colors going around, but they all work, dude. And there's like look at all these cups. They got this salad, dude, to add that green. It's just every color going on in here, dude. And yet it's all working. It's all harmonizing. It's just fantastic, man. Here we go. So we have a... Uh, we have a... Uh, let's see... Oh yeah, two, we, got, we got two couples, maybe a, a third girl right here. Yeah, and they're just having a, you know, a night. They're checking out the records, you know, like, hey, you know, what, what, what are we gonna play today? Can you imagine having, like, all all of this this huge booklet to play records you know what i mean yeah music itself was the event instead of just you know in the background i guess it's in the background just to, just for the party you know what i mean man look at these rough works man just just so nice Man, these just show you, man, that he he was quick, dude. He knew what he was doing, man. Look at this. Just... And then he just finished from there, dude. My god. <laughs> Makes me feel like I don't know shit about painting, dude. Well, that's what the masters are there for, dude. They're, to, they're, they're there to keep you humble, right? Look at that. And we have the finish up here. Is, is there finish on the other side? No. But yeah, it's nice to get these these little these glimpses of uh, of roughs, you know. Yeah, these rough works are <clears throat> just so nice. Look at that. This is this is a to me as a painter, this is fucking invaluable, dude, because it shows a little bit of the process that he's taking. You know what I mean? Yeah, look how rough this is. And then he just he just fixes it on top, bro. Which is uh It just makes sense, you know what I mean? Cause like he's like, I just wanna figure out the colors, I wanna figure out the composition, and uh <clears throat> cause a lot of people what they like to do is they they like to make like a like a line drawing, you know what I mean? They like to make a very, uh, very detailed, complete drawing, right? Like in charcoal first. And then they move on to uh, doing something like this. But I think um, from from what the book is saying, uh, Haddon would just, you know, rub, like he'd just, you know, do, he'd brush in the line work, right? And then quickly, you know, paint in the, with the colors that he wants, right? And then, like, you know, send it in. It's like, oh, do you guys like this, right? And then finish it. It's just, like, um, like, to the regular person, they're like, oh, okay, well, that makes sense. But, like, to a painter, it's like, that's wild. You know what I mean? Because uh, there's there's so many different ways that most people do things. But, like, the way he does it is, like, that's, a uh, it's wild, man. It's like, it's like, damn, dude, really? Uh, because it's like, it, you, you put a lot of risk. Um, I, I feel like a lot of artists are not as confident to just, you know, just, just go straight in with brushwork. You know what I mean? Um, and it takes a lot of balls. And I, uh, what do you call it? I, I found out that I, uh, I paint very similarly, right? Where I, I, I rough it in with the lines, but, uh, I don't do color roughs like this. You know what I mean? Um, but it's just, uh, it's cool. You know what I mean? Most people, like I said, they, they do a line drawing first to make sure that the drawing is very solid, and then they paint on top. But he's like, you know, why waste time doing that, dude? Just fucking, you know what I mean? Assemble it, right? Make sure make sure it's good from the rough stage. That's just fantastic, dude. You know what I mean? Jesus. Okay. 
United States Brewers Foundation. Okay. Look at that. So we got. This is like. Oh, is this like a little advertising board? Right? Yeah, a lot of these companies, or a lot of um, these illustrations, um, you'll see like a little. A little flat area where uh, where uh, a company could put their their advertisement right here. You know what I mean, yeah, like like oh for for today today's special it's uh whatever's here. You know what I mean? But you know if they don't take it then it's just empty. Really nice. Yeah, and it, and it works. Look at that blue. I love that blue. Oh my goodness. It's like a it's like a deep like phthalo blue maybe. You know, or a turquoise. Yeah. Just really nice, man. Wholesome, a pure drink of natural flavors. Coca-Cola. Delicious and refreshing. Look at that. He's like, look at this kid. He's like, man, I really want that Coca-Cola, dude. You know, they, you, they used to, um... They used to just mix vanilla right into it. You know what I mean? They had like a thing of vanilla and they would just mix it in. And then and then you'd have like, you know, your own vanilla coke, like with natural vanilla. That's so cool. It's pause time, mother. The pause that refreshes. Glug 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 glug. Damn. Here we go, some more Santa shit. My hat's off to the pause that refreshes. Look at that. Dude, if Santa approves of Coca-Cola, dude, I think we, as the audience, would approve of Coca-Cola. You get what I'm saying, dude? Look at that. Away with that tired, thirsty face. Look at that, look, he's tired right here, he's like, oh, dude, I'm sleepy, okay, but he's like, one sip of that Coca-Cola, dude, pff, comes right off, bro. And you know, <clears throat> I feel like if it wasn't Haddon painting this, this could look creepy, but, like, for some reason, like, you know, taking this face off is, uh, it's looking pretty wholesome, dude, you know what I mean? Wow. That's hilarious. <clears throat> Here we go. The pause that keeps you going with tingling buoyancy. Yep. Have you ever, have you ever seen <clears throat> a more wholesome image of a man with a whip? You know what I mean? It's like it's like oh dude he's gonna, he's gonna go out there he's gonna deliver those presents he's, he's gonna whip those reindeer man he's gonna whip them good dude bastard watcha okay. But he's got Coca-Cola, dude. He's got Coca-Cola's approval. Old Santa says, Me too. Hashtag, dude. Damn. Yeah. Remember when Me too wasn't a, wasn't a crazy-ass phrase, man? You know, it wasn't like a, like a triggering response. It belongs in your refrigerator at home. <coughs> yeah, dude, my allergies are... Or like gunking up the, the works, bro. I'm just like, <laughs> you know, trying to trying to talk, and then like I get a little, little bit of mucus. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry for that imagery. Just trying to explain why I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Hopefully I don't cough, dude. Like maybe I got the maybe I got the Rona, dude. Hopefully not. Give and take, I say. Look at that. Is this, um... What's that show? Fuck. My mom loves this show. It's like, you know, with, like, Ricardo. It's not Betty Boop. It's something else. Um, I don't know. It's, it's an old show with, like, the with like a female protagonist. And it's, like, a comedy. I remember it was black and white. I, I don't know. It could be, it could be a lot of shows, but, uh... Yeah, if you guys remember what I'm talking about, leave it down in the comment. <clears throat> Preliminary drawing for an advertising illustration for Coca-Cola. Yep. 
so yeah so this is this is what I'm talking about so normally uh, people would would do a drawing like this and then go into the painting right but I'm seeing for for most of uh, Sunbloom's paintings he just goes straight into the painting you know what I mean but like look at this dude look at this ability to just draw you know what I mean look at that hand that's a fantastic hand dude and he's like he's like uh he changed the proportions a bit, you know what I mean? Because he's like, he's more like a ball right now. But, you know, people, <clears throat> I don't think people are, I, I guess there are people like this, right? So, but like his his legs are a little bit bigger, you know what I mean? Um, his, uh, his torso is just a little bit like wider, you know what I mean? He doesn't have like, he doesn't have like man titties, but he's got like this nice like round, you know, body. So nice, dude. <clears throat> All right. Wow, look at these. Look at these beauties right here. Oh my goodness. Here we go. We have a man and a woman. He's helping her up from a, a slip and tumble on the slopes, but don't worry, there's snow, so she's all good. Hasn't uh, broken anything. All right. Look at, look at that. Look at this. Look at this heavenly light, bro. Look at how it just perfectly encapsulate this little moment, dude. Christ Almighty, dude. These paintings are just so nice, dude. Oh my god. And then this one, dude. Okay, I didn't even want... Like, I was just like, don't look at it right now, dude. You gotta focus on this one, dude. But my eyes are just wandering over here. Because this fucking... Look at this thing, dude. Look at this beautiful illustration, dude. Right? We got a, a beautiful woman, right, uh, alongside a horse, one presumably that she's been, you know, galloping on, right, and she's just, you know, uh, taking a little break, okay, and she's like, you know what, dude, I'm gonna look over this hilltop, and I'm gonna bust open one of my Coca-Colas, dude, the paws that refreshes, okay, right, and she's having this beautiful moment, dude, looking out onto that beautiful, uh, landscape look at that dude look at this beautiful color dude look at this the, the glow of this like yellow and red right here onto the onto the pants and the horse itself look at that that's just that's just dynamite bro like look at this fucking painting bro what can i say more dude this is just fucking this is master class work dude okay that's all i gotta say about that dude just master class work dude it's just it's just it it takes you dude pff, brings it to another place dude damn <clears throat> here we go thirst asks nothing more than delicious coca-cola yeah i'm guessing that they saved the coca-cola illustrations for the last because that's gonna be like the the remaining the re remaining advertisements that we have here. Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks for the pause that refreshes. Ooh. Look at that. You got a, and you got a nice turkey right here with some coke on the side. Bro. Bro. Here you go. Hey, give me one for, the, for me and the lady. Okay. Boom, dude. Damn, dude. Look at that. Look at that fucking... Boom, two, dude. Okay. The high sign of refreshment. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. Here we go. Oh, we have a... We have a three ladies in a car, right? He, the, the server's bringing out some coke, right? Some straws. Right? She's like, pass them around, dude. Damn. Cracking a cold one with the gals, dude. Here we go. Let's get a Coca-Cola. It's a lucky thirst that meets an ice-cold Coca-Cola. Oh, Ooh, a lucky thirst. Ooh. At America's favorite meeting place, the Soda Fountain. Coca-Cola has the taste that goes for that... 
Coca-Cola has the taste Thirst goes for. Oh, okay, yeah, dude. Thirst is like, yo, I'm hungry. I'm thirsty, dude, for some of that Coca-Cola. Okay, it leaves you with an after sense of complete refreshment. Making a pause. The pause that refreshes. Damn. When Coke hits taste bud, dude. Ecstasy, dude. Oh, especially back then, dude, when they had that little bit of that little bit of cocaine in there, dude. That little bit of cocoa leaf, dude. That little ooh, damn. I bet it's just as refreshing, dude, as a hit of ooh that nose juice. Okay, damn. Oh, hold on. Let's look at this one. This is just so delightful, man. You know, I feel like you see these, you see these kind of illustrations like everywhere now, right? Like at a truck stop or whatever, and they just have like, like, oh, you could buy a metal plate with this thing on it, you know? And I'm just like, uh, those are the only times I ever actually really see this work. But like, you know, when you actually see it, dude, it's just so nice, man. You know what I mean? Even like the, the, the badly photoshopped version that has like, uh, really weird lighting and shit. It's like it's the the painting just it it just goes, man. It just works. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Look at this aviator suit, dude. Okay. Look at that. Look at this. I I love the finish on this helmet, on these glasses, dude. On that face, dude. That Coke Cola bottle, dude. Looking fucking fine, bro. God damn, dude. Look at that. That's so nice. That's so nice, dude. And people wonder why I'm like, yo, uh, what do you call it? Photo bashing, dude? Uh, kind of lame, dude. Okay? Kind of lame, dude. Because there's shit like this out there. Okay? Where you know it's 100% painted, bro. Okay? Like, look at that shit, bro. Just, come on. Come on. Look at that, dude. I'm telling you, dude. If you're a guy, dude, you're like, hey, dude. You want to be like this guy, dude? Okay? I, I love how it's like, like, after a hard days of work, dude. You drink some Coca-Cola, dude. Okay? Recap that caffeine. That sugar. A little bit of that cocaine, you know? You're good, dude. Okay? Wakes you right up. The pause that refreshes. Ooh. There's one thing everybody will grow this month. They'll grow thirsty. Ooh. When it happens to you, that's a good time to relax and enjoy the pause that refreshes. With a frosty bottle of ice cold Coca Cola, you'll like it. Hey, dude, I'm convinced. You know what I mean? I'm convinced. Look at this fucking... Look at this page, dude. Oh. Look at those blues back there, dude. Look how deep they are, dude. Look at that. I'm telling you, dude, oil paints, they just... They just look good, okay? I don't, like... It's just the way it is, dude. It's like, you know, I feel like you did this exact thing digitally your colors would not be as good. You know what I mean? There's just something about oil paints that just work together so much better. Like, just look at this, man. <clears throat> here we go. Oh, we're, we, we, have a, we have some soldiers here. Uh, I'm guessing they are stationed. Let's see. I don't know. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, like, Italy? I don't know. Anyway, yeah. So they're, they're, they're in a foreign country. Um, he's dressing up as Santa right here. We can see him putting on the fake beard and the Santa outfit. You know, he's tied a pillow to his stomach. You know what I mean? Right, he's gonna come out there and, uh, and give some gifts to the, to the fellow soldiers out there. Yeah, dude. Wow. Bro, look at this fucking painting. Look at this painting, dude. 
Look at this, yo. A, a wholesome American girl with some ice cold Coca Colas, dude. Uh, what more do you want, dude? Is there really anything else better in life, dude, than these two combos, dude? Right, here you go, dude. Another lovely woman, okay? And, uh, you know, the uh, captain says, like, hey, uh, I could read your mind, dude. I know what you want, dude. You want the pause that refreshes, dude. Damn. Oh, this one is nice, dude. We have a soldier who has uh, just returned home, right? His wife, look at her, dude. She's, like, basically in tears, dude. Seeing um, her child reunited with her father for the first time, dude. Okay? And look at, look at, dude, look at that. Look at the joy. Okay, look at that joy. Dude, look at, like, like, dude, I'm telling you, dude. Look at that expression, man. Okay? Look at that. That's just, that's just amazing, dude. Okay? Like, and, and, like, the message of this is so clear and it's so, like, wholesome, dude. Right? That you just can't help but enjoy it, bro. Okay? And, like, I, I, like, I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you, like, the, the brands, dude, they're just here, like, we just want great-ass paintings, okay? We just want beautiful paintings, dude, that reinforce the American image, dude, okay? And right here, dude, just in the little corner, some Coca-Cola, okay? Because you know what, dude? He's probably tired, dude, right? You know, he's had a long trip, dude. Of course he would want a Coca-Cola, dude, of course, all right? See, dude, this is why Coke is better than Pepsi, dude, okay? Just because it had this whole history of advertisement, dude. Okay? I was like, this this imagery that they created, dude. It's like, it, it was like the American imagery, you know? I, I, it's like, you know, like, what does Pepsi have? You know what I mean? Like, do you, do you have the pause that refreshes, dude? Do you have uh, Santa Claus on lockdown, dude? Come on, Pepsi. Step your game up, dude. All that you have, dude... Is that you're a cheap imitation of Coke. There, I said it, dude. I said it. There we go. Merry Christmas. Have a Coke. Look at that. He's holding he's holding the thing for her to, to rap, dude. This is like, come on. Look at this composition, dude. It's so on point, dude. Just on point, dude. Look at that. Damn, dude. These are, these are just gorgeous, man. The friendliest club in all the world. Admission, five cents. It's the Coca-Cola club, guys. Come on. All it costs, it's a nickel. Okay. Look at that. What is he going to do? Is he going to do a magic trick? You know, he's going to make the coke disappear into his gullet. Look at that. Yeah, like, I, I love how the, the boys are like, like, all right, let's see what this is about. He's like, okay, sure, dude. You know, and the girl's like, oh, show us, show us, you know. Damn, do you see this little little story playing out right here, dude? Look at that. We got the cop in the back, dude. Damn. Uh, we have an old couple, right, with uh, with their old dog Lassie, right, and she's uh, she's just giving them an old visit, dude. Wait, is this a wait? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is he old? I don't know. He looks kind of like besides the hair here, he looks a little bit younger. Huh. I guess it could be her, like her son, you know, visiting and just uh, just petting the dog. Yeah. I don't know, he kind of looks old, but, like, looking at his hair, looking at his face, he doesn't look that old. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, you know, just, it's a wholesome moment, either way. You know what I mean? Just people smiling, people having a good time, dude. Dude. Listen, dude. If, uh, if ads were this good now i think people would people would buy shit you know what I, mean? I mean people buy shit anyway but you know what i mean like there's like 
Like, instead of, do you know what, dude? Instead of having, like, a 15 second ad, dude, of, like, some stupid ass video, why not just have 15 minutes, dude, of the pause that refreshes, okay? Look at this. If I was just shown this image, you know, like, just, you know, as an ad, I'd be like, you know what, dude? I'm kind of in the mood for some Coca Cola, okay? Right? But these Doritos, like, oh, dude, blah, 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 you know, all this crazy weird ads, you know what I mean? Like, it's nothing, dude, compared to just having having a fucking beautiful painting in front of your eyes, dude. Okay, look at that. Look, look at these look at these gorgeous gals, dude. Okay, look at that. And they're drinking Coca-Cola, dude. I'm like, I, I'm telling you, dude, I want to drink Coca-Cola, dude. Just look at the treatment, okay? Look at the, oh, my goodness. And then it's just, yes. Yes. That's powerful, dude. That's like, that's like, suck my dick, dude. My advertising's so good, dude. Okay? Damn. I love her outfit, dude. I love her expression, dude. This, this is, this is just a masterpiece of advertising right there, dude. I love the treatment on this dress. It's just gorgeous, dude. Look at that hair. Look at that hair, dude. Look how simply it's done. Bro. Here we go. Play refreshed. Okay. Is this a uh... Oh, they're at the they're at the roller ring, you know? Damn. Drive refresh, dude. Yeah, you gotta gotta stay awake, man. Gotta stay go stay awake on that road, dude. Okay, take a sip of coke, and you're just fine. Okay, wow. I'm telling you, dude. Hold on. What is, is was this on a was this on a billboard? No, I don't know. It doesn't say. Fuck, dude. Time for a pause. Have a Coca Cola. Oh my goodness. Look, they're just having some fun playing music, having a little jam sesh, right? And the, the, the buddy comes in, he's like, hey guys, guess what I got, dude? I got a couple refreshing Coca Colas. Look at that, same here, dude, you know? Cindy, Martha, here's your Coca-Colas, okay? Wow. And the compositions are just lovely, man, like, just like this triangle right here, dude. It just works, man. You go just having a long drive and like she's stepping out like ooh I gotta stretch a little bit, you know? And then and the and the uh, chauffeur is uh refilling the gas, right? And she's like, you know dude, I'm gonna stretch out a little bit. You know, dude, why not dude? I'm gonna grab a coke, dude. Okay? And she just ooh, giving that stretch, dude, giving that sip, dude, okay? And then she's ready for another couple hours, dude, of driving. Damn. Look at the colors on this shit, bro. This is just so, like... It's, like... Doesn't it bring you to, like, an ethereal place, man? You know what I mean? Like, these pinks. And these yellows, okay? It's like I'm looking at, like... Like, fucking candy or some shit. You know, just for my eyes, dude. You know what I mean? Like, her dress is made out of, like... Uh... What do you call it? Um... Fruit by the foot? No, 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 no. It's the it's the other one. Fruit Loops? No, no, no. You know the ones that the ones that like they're like they're they're rolled up and you unfold it and then it becomes like one big thing, right? Like a sheet. You know, instead of the the fruit roll up, which is just which is just like the strip. You know what I'm talking about? You guys know what I'm talking about. It's it's that one, okay? And then you just like you wrapped you know this dress in it, dude, right? This fucking this yellow here. Looks like a yellow starburst right here. Oh my god, dude. Okay, and then all these colors just mingle. Oh, it's just... It's a feast for the eyes. You understand me? 
Look at that. This is like, this is like a wedding day, you know? And then the little sisters come in with a Coca-Cola, right? Look at that. Damn, dude. Bro. Bro. Let's see. Travel refreshed. Okay. Like like I said, another like another long road trip, right? They're, they're stopping by the uh, what do you call it? The local diner, right? And then here here comes uh here comes your boy. Obviously, they're like, hey, can we have four cokes? And he's like, much obliged. Okay, coming in refreshing and cold, right? And they're like, that's how we like him, dude. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh yeah, they're looking at the little at the photos they've taken throughout the trip. That's that's wholesome as shit, bro. That's ultra wholesome, dude. Look at that. We got three girls looking at looking at uh again travel photos, okay? Wow. And all these moments, dude. I'm telling you, all these moments are accented with just a little bit of Coca-Cola, okay? That's it. That's all there is. Just a little bit of Coca-Cola. There's no, uh... It's not, it's not in the way of the photo. It's just like, it's just like, look at this, look at this wholesome image. Also, this moment was brought to you by Coca-Cola, dude. Okay, just a little, a little bit on the side, dude. Okay. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Look at that. Look at Santa, dude. Look at, look at him, dude. Look at him chugging that Coke, dude. Look how big his hands are, dude, compared to the Coke, dude. Look at that. We got a little elf boy with a Coca-Cola thing on his head, dude. Holding back the reindeer. Like, that's just... Look at, he's got... He's... He, there's stockings there, so he's... He's clearly by, uh... You know, by a home right now. Maybe they offered him some Coca-Cola, you know, to give it to... He's like, yo, yo, Santa, st stuff those socks a little bit extra, dude. Give, give me a little bit of extra, okay? Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. Look, it's just it's like a movie poster, dude. You know, like this blue mixed with this and then purple and then green and then yellow is Ah oh, delightful. Here we go. Oh here we go, here's the story, dude. You know, uh it's like hey dude, you gotta get one for Santa, dude. Okay. Cause like you know him, dude, he uh, he loves himself some Jolly old Coca Cola, dude. And I like how he puts the pinky at the end. You know, that's 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 detail right there. That's like, oh, dude, Santa would totally drink it like that. Dude. He wouldn't just like grip it. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah. Look at these kids, dude. Wow. 1950. Serving Coke serves hospitality. What more can be said, dude? I love how so many, some of these are like the boys coming back home from war. You know what I mean? Because it was like, you know, 1950s, like the the war had ended a couple of years ago. So now it's like, you know, every everybody everybody's had that experience, and they're just like, you know, bringing it back to that. Look at that! Look at that! Santa checking up on his list, dude. He's checking it twice, bro. Good boys and girls, dude. Okay? All over the world, dude. Look at that. He's getting ready for the day, dude. Wow. Damn. What a fucking image, dude. Yeah. You tell me Geico is better than this, dude? Okay, Geico is pretty good. That was a bad example. Um, but, like, you know, they always have these little comedy bits, right? And I was like, listen, dude, what if you just had a still image for, like, 15 seconds? You know what I mean? Just like, hey, take a moment to enjoy this painting, dude. Okay? I think it will put them in a different place. You know what I mean? I, I don't know, man. I, I enjoy wholesome advertisement. You know what I mean? Makes me think that the company is in a 
piece of shit. You know what I mean? Even if they are, you know, it's just like having this nice covering, dude, really, really helps, dude. Okay. You taste its quality, dude. Damn right. Quality means wholesome goodness, and Coca Cola is just that. There you go. Want something good? Of course you do. You'll love the delicious taste and wholesome refreshment of ice cold Coca Cola. Oh, I guess this is the advertisement version. Let's see. He's like right here. 1951, 1951. Yeah, so it's it's the same one, but this is the this is with the with the advertisement stuff uh, being placed. Talk about being good. Oh, I see what you did there, Santa. Hey, dude. Now it's my time, dude. Yeah. Now it's his gift. Okay. All right. Look at that. Look at this guy. Look at this jolly old man, dude. This is what made Christmas the top, dude. Okay, obviously, Christmas is big. It's always been big, but like, like, come on, come on, dude. This is how Santa. This is what defined Santa Claus, bro. All thanks to Mr. Haddon Sumblum, dude. And uh, for a lot of these, he posed for them. You know, it said that he had. Okay, so I was reading, and it said he had a uh, uh, a model named Lou, right? Um, but then he eventually passed away, and then uh, he real and then Han Sunbloom realized that he himself had a quote unquote cartoonish resemblance of Lou, and he's like, you know, dude, I'm gonna just pose for it myself, dude. You know what I mean? And that's what we see today, dude. You know, I don't, I don't know when they, they they made the switch, you know what I mean? But, like, it works, man. It works. And now, the gift for thirst. Damn, dude, like, I just, I just love how simply they put these little phrases. You know what I mean? Yeah. As were different back then, man. You know what I mean? Jesus. Like, like, you wanted to look at the ad. You're like, oh, dude, I want to see this, dude. Now ads are like, oh, dude, ads playing, dude. Now, not like, before it's like, it's like, oh, look at this beautiful painting, dude. Look at this beautiful thing that you want to look at, like, that you want to see, dude. And then there's just Coca-Cola, dude, right there. We're just like, hey, we're just hanging out. Look at that. His elves at work, dude. Santa Claus. Santa. Santa Claus. Santa Claus at work, dude. All right, making them toys. Wow. Yeah, he so, uh, unfortunately he can't make uh he can't make video games, dude. He can't make uh, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven up here. You know. But that's okay, dude. Uh at least he treats his workers better than the than the company. Damn oh Almost everyone appreciates the best. Almost. Yeah. That's for those uh, Coke naysayers right there, dude. Look at that expression, man. Look how jolly that is, man. And I like the the green background. You know what I mean? I feel like most people would be like, "Oh, dude, that's that's too saturated. It's too dark." You know, but uh, it contrasts well with the red right here. And I don't know. Like, I feel like most people would paint the the beard to have like this warm color but uh not hadn't dude he uh he keeps it just a little bit green you know what i mean just a little bit of that green for the background color oh yeah super nice same thing right here dude yeah yeah using those that nice contrast and it works you know what i mean most people I don't know, cause like I feel like most people stick tend to stick to like, like the non uh, contrasty colors. You know what I mean? I guess it depends on the artist, but um, yeah, I like the boldness of it. You know what I mean? Look at that! Look at how! Look at this! 
Look at this man, dude. Look at this jolly old man. He's having a great time. He's just enjoying himself. Oh, uh... It looks like uh, he was, like, opening up a, a bottle, right? And the kid's like, What you doing there, Santa? And he's like, Oh, shit! Uh, Billy, you shouldn't be awake. Damn, he got caught. Caught in the act, dude. I love this one a lot. This one is one of my favorites. Because, like, look at his face. Look at the joy, right? And I just love this right here. Like, the, him, the action of him, like, kicking off the boots, right? It just shows, like, like, ah, oh, dude, I just had a rough day, you know, making them toys. And uh, I'm just, just kicking off the boots, you know, taking a seat. Swigging a coke, right? Got my little fawn underneath. Beautiful. It's just so, it's just so nice. I love how red his cheeks get, man. Like, cause those are like those are some rosy, rosy cheeks right there. Oh, uh, we got we got the uh, the elves coming in just to help out the homie, right? He's had a hard day, so. Uh, Oh look at that! He's uh, they're they're taking out the the boots, bringing in the home slippers. Look at that! Look at fucking Santa's face, dude. That's just so so wholesome, bro. Damn! And of course they're pouring him some Coca Cola. You know, that's so nice. Look at that! Oh, we got a dog here. He's like, oh shit! It's your boy Santa. He's like, yo, shh, quiet. Quiet. I'm gonna deliver my gifts. I'm gonna grab my coat. And I'm outie, dude. Okay. Damn. Look at that dog. Look, I, I love the way he... Oh, cat hair. I love the way he painted this dog, man. Look how effortless this dog looks. Wow. Man, just so fucking nice, dude. This just looks so nice. I don't know, man. Look at the way the fuzz is on this. It's... I was watching a video of um, a guy painting an illustration that was uh, that one of one, one of Haddon's... Uh, illustrations and it just it just looked it, it it didn't match you know his his style you know what I mean I'm just like I just wanted to know what did he paint like you know I know he painted like Ala Prima you know what I mean he painted wet on wet he painted really quickly but I'm just like I don't know like what like when you see someone paint like with their hand and you see like the way the brush touches the the canvas it's like everyone paints so differently so i would have just loved to seen what Haddon some bloom would have painted like man because uh his stuff is just so wonderful and to know that it was so quickly done is just insanity dude just insanity look at that look how and like because like Something like this, that coke ball, dude, that would take a, that would take a while. You know what I mean? To make it look good. I don't know. Yeah, I guess I guess he finished it quickly, and then, and then he would refine it. You know what I mean? But they just look so freaking nice. Look at that, and, and even the even the signage is beautiful. And he didn't uh, he didn't project like most artists do. Wow. There we go. Got this cute little drawing right here. Look at that. Look at look at how fucking beautiful, how wholesome. Look at he's toasting to that dog. Wow. Look at that. And then boom, dude, the finish. 1964. Damn, dude. He was drawing Santa for a very, very long time. Yeah. I was reading. I was reading the book, and they said, uh, "Yeah, let's just stay on here for this for this subject." Um, 
they were talking about his uh, his last couple of Santas that he painted, right? Uh, they said that the guy at Coca-Cola who uh, hired Sunbloom, um, he got switched out for a new guy, and the new guy was like, oh, uh, advertising is like all off photographs now. It's all about, uh, you know, television shit, right? Videos, and so um, they phased out Haddon's work, right? And he had... They said he had 19 illustrations ready for, like, the whole year, like, a whole marketing campaign ready. Um, like, he had sketches done and all that stuff ready to be uh, painted. You know what I mean? And they're like, oh, uh, we don't, we're not going to need it anymore, you know, because uh, we, we switched out the guys. Uh, we're not going to need your Santa Claus anymore. Uh, it is now uh, something else, dude. We're, we're switching it up. And uh, his wife at the time... Or I guess, I guess his his wife um, said uh, that when he finished his last Santa, or they when they told him that like yo we're 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 phasing out the Santa Claus paintings, dude. It that shit killed him, dude. Okay, like that's what like it like it hurt him. Okay, and she said like I think I think that's what really killed him. You know, what I mean, he died like ten years later, but. Um, I'm sure that, like, making these paintings brought great joy to him, and, uh, and, uh, you know, painting after that, you know, might have not been the same anymore, and it's a shame, and I think these, these two might be the last two, I don't know, since we're, we're kind of phasing out of the Coca-Cola, so, um, look at these beautiful illustrations, man, because these are probably the last two, right here, 1964, it's, yeah, it's getting... It's getting to that last stage, right? Let's let's see. Is there more Santa? Yeah, I don't think so. Damn. <clears throat> Damn. Here we go. So we got we got Grandma right here. She's bringing. She's uh, reading. She's like, oh, you know what? You want a coat? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Grandma, I want a Coke. Grandpa, maybe. With a Coke as well. Look at that. Cross-generational, my friends. Damn, dude, he painted big. 32 by 25. These are huge. I guess these are, like, standard illustration size. Yeah. I've painted big before, and it is, uh, it can be a pain, bro. You know, I use 16 by 20. That's, like, my standard size. I, I really like that size, but, uh, if you want those really small details, then you're gonna have to go big, you know? Yeah, because they just don't make brushes that fucking big. But look at that. Look at this detail with all the, the, uh, pattern work right here. It's just gorgeous, man. Yeah. I can't wait to get, like, real models, man, because that's... I think that's something that's kind of holding me back. I need some real models. There we go. But, uh, you know, stuff like this isn't, like, popular anymore, so they're... Uh, I find that models aren't, like, every like just lying around, you know what I mean? And the prices are a lot higher now. Yeah, so... Until, uh, until my paintings get more successful, I don't think, uh... I think I'll be able to hire a model anytime soon. Unfortunately. But look at that, dude. I'm telling you, dude. Look at the way he does the fabric, dude. Just, just these big, expressive strokes. Just makes it look so easy, dude. Look at that. And they just... Oh my goodness. They just blend into each other. And it's just gorgeous, dude. Same thing with the hair. Man, look at that. Look at that red. I don't know, it's just... Like, if I squint, it's just beautiful, man. Like, I mean, it's beautiful if I don't squint, but, like, when I squint and I see how the colors relate to each other, you know? It's just gorgeous. <clears throat> oh! Here we go. Now we're getting to the 
good stuff, bro. All right, the the creme de la creme. Okay. Here we go. Illustration for Colson Calendar Company. Look at that. Wow. Look at that fabric, dude. You know, obviously we're looking at the woman, right? But look at that fabric. Wow. Look at that. Look how expressive that is. Okay, but look at this, dude. Look at this beautiful, gorgeous, all American, grade A woman. Okay. Wow. I love the treatment on that hair. It's just so nice, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. Wow. This one, this is one of my favorites. Okay. This is, this is such a good illustration right here, dude. Yeah. Um, from the picture, what I'm guessing is, a. Uh, She's uh, she's up by the lake, you know, she's like, she's going for a swim. She's uh, taking off the shoes, taking off the uh, the old pantyhose right there, you know, and we, we got a dog here, dude, okay, expressing what the audience is feeling, dude, he's like, <laughs> you know, like, Arr! you know what I mean, that kind of shit, oh, and she's got a little, little, uh, whoop, coming down, dude, so you see a little bit more of the, the bazongas, dude, just just beautiful man my god okay I'm telling you dude imagine you're a guy dude and you're you're in like the fucking 1930s 1940s whatever you know you just had a hard day of laboring you know at the factory you know you pass by one of the shops dude and you see this image okay and tell me dude you you don't feel refreshed okay you're not like Phew. you know dude maybe life is worth living okay maybe life ain't so bad dude if i could see an image of divine beauty like this dude maybe i could go to that factory again tomorrow okay and the next day and the next day dude and every day dude he passes by this image dude okay and he gets the same feeling dude okay and you think like oh dude uh after a while, it'd be, it would stop being refreshing, okay? But uh, for him, dude, it doesn't, dude, okay? Because if anything, he's just becoming more and more familiar with the piece, right? Noticing the little details. And uh, that's that's some of the, the joy that art can bring. Oh, here's the pantyhose. I just didn't, I just noticed that. Yeah, that's just some of the art, some of the uh, enjoyment that art can bring you. Ooh, look at that. Jesus Christ, man. It's so wholesome, you know, and like, you get that, you get that little bit of sexy, you know what I mean, that little bit of, oh, you know, that little bit of wind, and it just all works, bro. It just all works, okay? You can see where Gil Elbrin got his talent, okay, got his skill. Because um, you can see that he definitely, like, evolved, like, he, he improved upon, I wouldn't even say improved upon, but he, he his take was definitely, um, his take on pinups definitely was affected by uh, Sunbloom's work, obviously. Jesus Christ, man, look at this. And here we go. The front cover. Look at that. There's just that little bit of, you know, that little bit of, oh! Okay. A little bit of, oh, okay, and you. And I'm saying, and, and the dog, dude, okay, it's a representation of the the audience, dude, the men, okay, or women looking at this and going, oh, okay, <laughs> you know, like like a fucking dog, dude, okay, because these pa these paintings, dude, don't make you uh like like I just imagine this dog, dude, sleeping, dude, okay, and then and then this woman comes by, dude, you know. And she's like, you know, I'm going to go for a swim, dude. And then he's just like, he just perks his head. He's like, hey. Hey. That's us, dude. We're, we, we see these paintings and we're like, hey. Let me take a closer look at that painting. Just fantastic, bro. Just for, Oh, dude, is this whole last section pinups, bro? Because if it is, 
I'm gonna be a happy fucking man, bro. I'm gonna be a happy fucking man. Oh. Saving the best for last, okay? Personal attention. Look at that. Just gorgeous, dude. Just gorgeous. Look at the way he did these pillows. Oh my goodness. It's like, it has that silk feeling, you know? And, the, like, you could, you could see the big, broad strokes. But if you squint, like, it's all, it's all right there, dude. It all just becomes realistic, dude. Okay. Man. Look at that expression. Look at that titty, dude. Look at that titty. You know? Wow. I don't know if she has big areoli or just very light areoli. Gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this Marilyn Monroe girl, dude. Look at that. Oh my goodness. She just got a letter or some shit. She's on a cruise. She's on the boat. Look at that smile, dude. Look at that smile. Wow. But I, I bet uh, that'll perk up your day, dude. Okay. Oh! I like the I like the texture right here. This is real cool. Yeah. Color sketch for a calendar illustration. Oh, so this is just a sketch. This is not even like this is not even like finished. Bro. Bro. I wish these other ones had more texture to them. It's hard to see. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know if these are just high quality photos or I can see some of the texture, but, like, this one is, like, it's a lot more pronounced, but, like, look at that, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Damn, dude. That's really nice. I love the, the yellow and the blue. Just, I love that color combo. Wow. Here we go. Oh, you can see a little bit of the red right there on the nip. Beautiful, beautiful work. It's a little bit more loose, but it's just, it's working, you know? Yeah, so th these are, these are not even, like, finished, you know what I mean? Wow. Whoa! Oh! Look at that, dude. I love, like, these monochromatic, you know what I mean, paintings with the, with that touch, with that flare of color, it's just wow, it's just wow, and it's like, this one's a little bit more loose, I just, oh, I really like this, I really like this one, wow, and just the expression on the face and the hand, just gorgeous, dude, just some really, oh my, look at this one, dude, Look at, this, look at this impasto. Got, 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 got white, dude. Wow. Oh my goodness. I love this. I love that dress, dude. I'm telling you, just just look at this and squint a bit, and then it just it just becomes like real. You know? These are oh my goodness. These are so nice, dude. Editorial illustrations. Oh, is that it? Is that is that all the pinups? Damn, I'm a little sad. Damn. I guess his uh, his work was survived by uh, by Gil Elbrin, you know. The country gentleman. It's very simple. A lot more loose. But I like that. Yeah, I like some looseness in my paintings. Look at this. This is so nice. Wow. I guess this is like a brother, sister, or mother, son, and they're they're just jamming it out, right? Yeah, these these photos are a little this this photo is a little bit lower res. I guess it's just an older picture. <laughs> oh, look at that with the splash of green. Yeah. I guess she just got the phone call that uh 
her husband has uh, passed away or something of that nature. Yeah. Here's the man giving the message. Hmm. Is this is this like one story? Like like they were out in like Panama and he passed away from malaria, you know? That'd be that'd be cool. It wouldn't be cool that he died from malaria, but it'd be cool if, like this was like like for a story, you know what I mean? Uh Yeah. So we got like I'm trying to just figure out what's going on here. It was like these, like like the I think the bed sheet fell off and then. Oh, there's a gun. Okay. Uh, I guess she knocked over the trash can. And there's a gun inside. I don't know. And he's like, he's like, what are you, what are you trying to do with this? You trying to blast me? Uh, a woman, she just graduated college, and is he, is he having a smoke? I don't know, he doesn't look too happy about it. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Look how well painted this face is, and then look at that hand, look how loose it is. I love it, dude. I love it. Yeah, I think he might be the. He, I think he's the focal point. You know what I mean? You start here, and then you're like you 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 it goes inwards. Yeah, and look how dude look 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 how loosely this suit is painted, dude. It's like it's almost it's just like disappearing into the background. That's gorgeous, dude. That's fucking. That's well done. Look at that red. Look at the red of that door. Look at this guy. He looks like a. He looks like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Godfather. You know what I mean? You come in here with a silly hat like that? And he's like, Apod, don't worry about it. I'm from the South. <laughs> You're a real jokester, you know that? Come in. Playing cowboys out there. Let's see. Yeah, I like these uh, partial illustrations. These like little vignettes. You know what I mean? I've been, I, I've been trying to experiment with stuff like this because it's just really, really, really cool how like the negative shapes of like you see right here. You could see like this would be like maybe some kind of like dress or apron or something, but it's just a negative shape, right? Um, I guess the rest is just you know there. The the, the window kind of helps frame the the overall illustration. It just looks really nice. Man and woman, man and woman. Nothing too crazy. Ah, I love these colors. I love these muted colors with the red accent. I'm telling you, back then, um, they couldn't print all these colors, so they, you had to choose three colors. Black, white, and accent, right? Which is usually red. But uh, that's enough, dude, to give these paintings some real, real nice life. Yeah. yeah. These look very uh, Dean Cornwell esque. You know what I mean? Like with the with the uh, subject matter. Yeah. These pirates, you know, very very Howard Pyle. Yeah. Yeah, pirates up here and um, like maybe Indian or Arabian. Yeah, like Arabian Nights kind of shit. Got some pirates here. There and they fear the uh they're like 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 whoa dude. There's a there's a woman with a Bible there and it's like, Do you fear God? And she's and he's like, Whoa, 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 I I ain't gonna mess with that. <laughs> you should. Uh more pirates, I believe, yeah. With a ballerina type girl. Yeah, look at that. Look at 
these streams. Like, uh, these are like party streamers, but um, I looked at this and I was like, this looks like a like a knife, dude, like a pallet knife. Just you know, that looks real fucking nice, dude. It's the only way to get those perfectly thin lines, dude. McCall's homemaking. Yeah, look at that. Look at that sheet of white. Just. I need to incorporate more white into my. Into my works because they they have this really nice, thick quality that I just really really want to start incorporating more. Wow. Oh, the neighbor's cat is uh, snooping around. I just saw him. Look at the color right here. Wow, look at the, like that like warm kind of yellowish uh, white. This looks like um, you know, where's Waldo? But he's like older now. You know, he's like nobody looks for me anymore. And she's like, well, I found you. He looks like a, like maybe like a drunkard, you know what I mean? Uh, ne'er do well, or someone who's like down on his luck, and his wife is a, uh, like a little irritated. She's pulling the chair out, and you know, she's like, "So where you been, Tommy?" Well, I'm creating these little stories, dude. This was like a photo. Like I was looking, I was looking to the right, and I was like, "This is just a photo," and I was like, "It's not," but that's just. That's just the level of uh, of quality that these uh, these paintings can get to. Wow. <clears throat> Here we go. We have the train station. Um, the man is probably leaving for work, you know, and she's like, you know, she's apprehensive about it. You stay safe out there. Here we go. Yeah, more more black and whites with the red. These are a lot lower res, which uh, isn't my favorite. But you know, I understand some of these um, might have not lasted that long. You know what I mean? These are like okay, here you go from 1934. So these are these are pretty old. So they might have not been archival. Who knows? Yeah, look at the color on this. Those yellows with that kind of like grayish green. So nice. Look at that. That's just gorgeous, man. Yeah, I gotta start doing some more like limited palette shit. Because uh, this is just beautiful. There we go. I like this black and white one, this grayscale one. And then I was I was I was trying to see if there was like a like an overall shape, but it's just you know, because I saw like like it looked like shoulders right here, but uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. Here we go. Now they're off playing a. Playing a game, I'm guessing, because she looks like she's uh, she was playing a racquetball. You know, it's like a racquetball outfit. Yeah. Are we? They're just going out for a picnic. This one's like this kind of like red stain in it. You know, this like red stain painting. I kind of like that. Yeah. This woman. She looks like she's wearing just, like, sweats. Like, straight-up sweats. Like, did they have that back then? It looks It looks, like, strangely modern. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I know she's wearing, like, the, like, shoes from back then, but they almost look like sneakers. Wow. Got a nice yellow accent right there. Uh, 
She looks... She looks Latina. You know what I mean? I don't know, maybe just her features? I don't know. Um, but yeah, this looks like, uh, like, from the south. You know what I mean? So it could be the case. There you go. Hmm. Yeah, like, there's, like, I think there's desert right here. Um. Oh, okay, okay. So this is for, like, like a film shoot. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you have, like, the director's chair. You know, everyone's wearing these, uh, these outfits. You got a sombrero. Yeah, yeah, this, this is definitely, like, uh, like a shooting on a movie set. You know what I mean? Here we go. Oh, I love that blue, that baby blue. That's gorgeous, man. Yeah. It's cool that it's here, but it's, like, it's not on the, the actual, like, focal point, which is the boy here. A little bit of color just really adds. There you go. Uh, we got a man who uh, entering with a weapon. Um, I don't know. It, like, like it looks like he just like he might have just fought somewhere. He's like, he's like, get, hey, it's not safe here. We gotta get out of here. You know, he he doesn't look like he's a uh, he has menacing intent. You know what I mean? It looks like he just he just came from a. Uh, like maybe he's wounded, you know what I mean? I oh, look at this little... So... Nice, dude. Wow. And this is his loose stuff, man. This is his... This is like... This is, uh... Unfinished, t t technically. You know what I mean? Cause like... Oh my god. You know, sometimes I kind of like his looser stuff more because it just has this nice quality to it. You know, what I mean, you could you could really see the uh, the uh, grain of the the canvas. You know what I mean? It's really nice, so nice, man. There you go. Editorial illustration. Let's see. Do that yellow, plus that red. It just has this beautiful mood to it. She's like, you the one? You're like, me? Am I the one? She's like, yeah. <gasps> you killed my boy! I didn't kill no one! Damn. Yeah, they're gossiping like, oh, dude, he, he's the one who did it, dude. He's the one who killed her. He's the only one who killed the boy. Here we go. More, uh, let's see. Arabian Nights, yeah. Look at that, that yellow. Oh my goodness. Tell you, man, oils, like, their colors, I don't know, like, I feel like you put it in other, any other medium, I guess, I guess, like, watercolor and stuff, like, works, but, like, you know, digitally, if you put these colors together, you'd just be like, whoa, that doesn't work, but, like, with an oil painting, I don't know, they, they they just work off each other better. I don't know why. Because, like, you know, I feel like like having this green and this purple w mixed with this, like, yellow, it just, like, it, normally I feel like it wouldn't work. But here, it just, it works beautifully. There we go. Got a woman and a man. She's playing uh, tennis or... Batminton. Yeah, yeah. That looks, that looks more Batminton. Yeah, look at that. Look at the looseness on this. Look at the... Look at the high key... That's going on here. Love it. Love this... These glacks of white, dude. White. Glah, white. Glah. Look at that right here, too. Just gorgeous. Um, this is a volleyball. Looks like a volleyball. Yeah, she's out on the beach, right? She's got her her beach towel that she's wearing as a as a little cape right here. Woman's home companion. Gorgeous. Here we go. We got some uh, some of the gals, you know, having fun. Look at that. 
Look at that, so wholesome, dude. Probably the three sisters, I'm guessing. Or maybe there's a... There's the older sister and the twins. Yeah. Because they look very similar. Wow. Look at that. Look how loose that dress is. But it's all there, man. It's all there, dude. I'm telling you, just, just squint. And it's like, oh, dude, the dress is perfect, dude. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this looks like, um, uh, maybe these two are, uh, going out on a date or some shit, right? Or, uh, he's, he's visiting the home for the first time, right? And then that is, uh, that's her brother, you know? And she's, like, a little apprehensive about, uh, uh, the kid meeting, uh, her, uh, her boyfriend, right? Susan switched on the light. There was Richard, fully dressed. Listen, he said. We gotta go. We gotta go around. Go around there. Okay. This looks like the same kid, so. I'm not sure. Here we go. Look at that. A man and woman. Uh, sitting by, I think, a lake? Yeah, sitting by the campfire. Just enjoying each other's company. Very nice. Very wholesome, dude. You smoking that pipe? Back when uh, every man had a pipe in their mouth, dude? Look at that hug, dude. A very, like, reflective hug, you know? She's like, she's she's lost in thought. You can just tell by the expression. Wow. Police Home Journal. So I'm guessing, um... This guy might have been a soldier or something, also. Because, like, he has a, like, he has a broken arm. He just returned home. Maybe the, uh... The father's returned. Look at that. Oh, dude, her forehead is a little big. That's a... That's a Yumi forehead right there, dude. Oh, dude, her forehead's pretty big, too. Damn. Yeah. See, these ones look normal. Yeah, that's a normal forehead. This is, like... This is big brain right here, dude. This is some real big brain. That's funny. Look at that. She's like, Daddy, don't go! And he's like, Damn, dude. Sorry, dude. I gotta go. I gotta peace out, bro. Wow. Look how loosely this newspaper's done. These, these giant strokes. This is some gorgeous work, man. Yeah. Let's look, let's look at the big one, and then we'll look at the smaller ones. I don't know why they started off with the with the big... Why they started off with the smaller versions. Or the zoom-ins, rather. Look at that. I'm guessing this is a tense situation right here. Uh, maybe the... Uh, they're not getting the inheritance that they want, right? And she's like, that's right. You ain't getting a penny from me. You know, and uh, she's clearly upset by it. And he's like, he's like, Ma, you really gonna do this to us? You've been good for nothing, children, and you ain't getting nothing. It's all going to the charity funds. You might as well get it through your head what I 
that I mean what I say, Ed told Nori. He said it harshly because he had surprised himself noticing how nice she looked in a pink dress. Might as well get it through your head that I meant what I say. Hmm. What did he say? That's the question, right? Oh, this is cool. I really like this one. Yeah, we got a young gal, right, with a with a with a pistol, right? She's learned the ropes. Maybe her dad is a is a man of the West. Yeah, he's teaching her the ropes, and she just she just shot, dude. And she's like, "Whoa, dude! These like this this gun, dude. That shit's strong, dude. That shit got some kickback." There we go. Oh, dude, look at the look at the color on this one. Look at that green, dude. Ooh, look at that, that blue that turns into green. Oh my goodness. And then the green of that shirt, dude. That sap green. Oh, and that yellow of the. Oh my goodness. Look at that, look at that battle. Just loosely painted on, dude. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Here we go. Um I'm guessing. Okay, so I'm guessing they're at a marriage. And then we got this woman coming in in black, you know, going like, well, uh, she dead now. My friend, she dead now. <clears throat> Let's see. What's going on here? I guess this guy got beat up. You know, maybe, maybe the, uh, the sister beat him up, you know. She got, she kind of got that little bit of psycho look in her eye, you know. And he's like, he's like, oh, she fucked me up good. There you go. Looks like a like an old teacher, you know. Like, you know, I I, I used to play ball, you know. And he and like they they threw it and he uh, he he went for the dive, right? Broke his glasses a bit. That's no good. But uh, he's happy, dude, because uh, for a second he felt like a young man. Oh, do you like this one, dude? Look at that. She's like, no, don't go. It's my duty, Sally. I gotta go. It's, it's my co wait. No, he's in handcuffs, so maybe he's getting court-martialed. You know? And she's like, he's like, I did what I had to do. I had to save my platoon. And if that meant going against orders, so damn well be it. She's like, no, no, just say you didn't do it. Just say, I have a duty. Damn. And he's like, I respect what you did, son. But you got a family. You got a family to think about. Someone's got to take a rap for this. Damn. Here we go. So I like I like the soft, this soft glow, man. That's just, ooh, that's just nice, dude. Wow. Wow. Look at that, look at that hair. Look at that, look at that treatment of the hair, dude. That's just some fantastic stuff right there. I guess we got a family visiting the uh, the pasture, right? Look at, look at that! Look how loose this background is, dude. And yet, the message is completely conveyed. You know, that church. There's a there's a holy painting in the background, right? Visiting the old pasture, right? He he's he's got that Santa Claus looking beard, you know. But he he ain't he ain't no Santa Claus, okay? 
Look at that, like the purples and these yellow. Oh my god, this is just gorgeous, dude. Just gorgeous. Here we go, look at this one, dude. This is one of his most famous illustrations right here. Look how loosely it's painted, bro. Wow. Just so nice, dude. Look at that fucking... Oh! And the way it blends into each other. Oh! Oh, oh look at that white. Just so nice, dude. Just so... Just takes you to a different place. You know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah, she's fixing her hair, and he's like, Yo, she looking like a fine snack. Ooh! Yeah. I kind of wish people dress like this, you know what I mean? I feel like the style was way better back then, you know what I mean? Everyone looks so much classier, and now everyone just wears fucking sweats. You know, me included. Me included, obviously, but, uh, yeah. So nice. Look at that. Yeah, look at these, look at these pastel colors mixing together, dude. And then the green in the background, just to pop these out. Yeah. Man, I really like these, like, looser paintings. <clears throat> oh! And, uh, we're finishing off hot, bro. Okay. We got this, uh, Santa Claus illustration, right? Or, uh, or Mrs. Santa Claus. Okay. Right. Sorry, Mrs. Claus. I, I got a, I found me a younger, a younger wife. Oh, and she's more new bio. Damn. Yeah, this is a Playboy cover. Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. And I think that's it. Yep. There you go. Ooh, this is probably gonna be a long ass video. This is probably like two hours or some shit. This is a long one. But uh, that's it, dude. That's it. Here you go. We got the back cover. Santa Claus illustration. <clears throat> wow. What a journey, man. I I really had a good time with this book. This was fantastic, dude. Worth every penny, dude. I uh I paid um hundred fifteen for this book. Yeah, and uh I'm happy, dude. I'm happy with what I got. There's no collection of uh Han Sunboom's work like this. It's just wow, dude. Well, I guess uh, I guess it's time to uh, enter the review portion. Let's uh, let's just flip this over and enter the review portion. All right, guys, let's uh, enter the review portion for the art of Hatton Sunbloom. Um, this is a fantastic book. You know, the Illustrated Press always makes just wonderful books. Um, I got mine for, like I said, 115 right? To me, totally worth the price, right? You got a little ding right here, um, but that's okay. You know what I mean? This book, it's rare, okay? Like I said, only a thousand of these are printed. And uh, like I said, these are, these are ultra rare. So if you could get your hands on one of these, whatever the price it is, I think it might be worth it. There might be a reprinting. I, I don't know. It's been a couple of years since this book has been released. Um, the Dean Cornwell book got uh, a reprinting, but the Hatton Sunbloom book did not. So, you know, I, I pray for you guys to get a, a reprint, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Um, but this has been quite the experience, right? Um, Hatton Sunbloom has become uh, one of my favorite artists to look at. I love his work so much. It's, it, you know, it. I'm just really surprised that it hasn't been collected earlier. Um, but this work is just, it's just fucking masterful, okay? Just masterfully done. I really enjoyed my time here. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, this, man, like I said, if you can find this book, dude, pick it up because you will not find it anywhere else. I've looked 
far and wide for listings. I like I said, I, I had to email the actual creator and ask if he had a, a spare one, and this is the only one that he had. And I was just so lucky to get this book, dude. Just so lucky. Um, so I, I wish you guys luck to get this book. If you uh, if you guys can get it, uh, good. I, I'm happy for you guys, okay? Because this book was, like, for me, a really hard find. Um, yeah. So uh, what can I, what else can I say, man? This book is fantastic. <clears throat> the work in here, Han Sunbloom, legendary, okay? Inspired a whole generation of, uh, of Santa Claus, right? Like, for, created the whole Coca-Cola imagery. You know what I mean? <clears throat> it's just... It's just dynamite, okay? Um, yeah. Whew. I think that's it, man. I don't, I don't think I can really say any much more, but that, like, if you if you find this book, grab it, okay? Um, when I saw this, when, when he told me that he uh, he had an extra copy, dude, my eyes just like fucking, my pupils just, just dilated, dude, okay? Um, yeah, this work is fantastic. Check out more of Haddon Sunbloom's work, okay? Check him out as an artist, okay? He deserves more love, right? Most artists today don't even know who he is. You know, they just know, like, I, they just be like, oh, it's the Coca-Cola guy, right? And then they'll be like, oh, okay, that, that's that's the guy. But, like, the fact that they don't know his name is, like, it's really sad, you know what I mean? And uh, our education should, uh, should focus more on people like him, you know, and his work. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you enjoy this video, please uh, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me how you guys feel about the art of Haddon Sunbloom. Ring that bell for notification. All that bullshit. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.